<sighs> two, 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 and two. Doing pretty good to start. We're at almost six hours in, level 11. It's a pretty good status. Expecting to cover a lot of ground today. I think some of our time that we have on that almost six hours is uh, not quite indicative of our true progress though. I mean I haven't really been leaving it unattended for large stretches of time or anything but I still think it's a little off. No matter. And finish it off, Garrett, my man. I don't want to quite move on until people have got here. I uh, started doing stuff pretty quick. I meant to sit at the title for a bit longer. So, maybe I will do that. Just so people have a sec. There we go. Is it just me, or is there like a beginning of the game cutscene thing that plays on the main menu? It's been a while since I've just kind of let it sit. Probably do that for a minute. I'm pretty sure the second game has one, if you let it sit on the title screen. Plus, I mean, this music is absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna turn that up a little bit, actually. There we go. Well, uh, maybe that'll drown me out a little bit. I'll turn that down a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> Take this opportunity and see if we are dropping any frames. Ooh, we are not. That is spicy. We are dropping not a single frame, not even a point percentage of it. Oh, yeah, see, here we go. Oh, no, it just resets, and it doesn't even wait that long. That's lame. But whatever. We can go to battle mode. I forgot Golden Sun 1 even had that. I mean, obviously I know 2 does. You spend a lot of time there. But, uh... I don't recall GS1 having it. Alright, well, we may as well just go. Alrighty. And is this Fusion Temple or is this Llama Temple? I'm pretty sure Llama is the one that has Hama. Hama. Hama Llama. Hama Llama Ding Dong. Probably just melee these guys, but whatever. Good job, Maya. First to hit 12. No, Fusion? Yeah, Fusion. It's a CH though, so it's Fusion. How did you get here? Is the bridge open again? You bet, dude. Really? Then I can go home to Kalama now? I thought I'd never go home. What with the cursed forest and all. How did you even find out what it was from this side of the river? Oh, he has a different thing. You only get to answer that one once. Did you know that the forest up ahead used to be a vast prairie? They say that the prairie became a vast forest overnight. 
Nyanpa is the only person who can pass through the forest now. Even Nyanpa doesn't know why the prairie turned into a forest. You don't believe me, do you? Well, it's the truth. You see, these gems fell from the sky. And the next day, there was a forest where the prairie used to be. Yeah, that's, that's cool, dude. I don't feel safe going home alone. I hope a monk will escort me. Gems from the sky. Blue lights in the north. All omens of disaster. They match legends of destruction described in our oldest scrolls. Sup, bro? You seem to be, uh, standing in a waterfall. Om. Om. Blue lights in the north. Terrifying. A rain of broken stars. A forest suddenly grows. All omens. Many stars fell from the sky, just as it says in the scrolls. Is this, is this truly a portent of the world's destruction? Yeah, dude, but don't worry. I, I, I actually accepted the mission from the wise one. This isn't the alternate universe where I did not So you're good. There is no point in training if the world is to be destroyed. Maybe it is better just to live happily. <clears throat> Spoken like a quitter! Nyanpa has not eaten in days. He's going to waste away to nothing. I can't imagine fasting. It gets me depressed just thinking about it. Amen, brother. Amen. Isn't it noble of him to try to save the world by becoming enlightened? However, I really do not want to see Nyanpa waste away. No, it's not noble. Do you know what you mean when you say that? To achieve enlightenment, one fasts to cleanse body and mind. Freed from worldly, worldly concerns, one can focus the mind's powers. I'd be too hungry to focus on anything but being hungry. Well, one may not have many different opinions in this world, but I wish you could understand our beliefs. Nah, nah, nah. I just wanted to see what you would say. I think you guys are cool. Keep on keeping on. I'm traveling around the world to spread goodwill. Since I'm here, I'd like to learn the secrets of Fuchin Temple. But that won't happen unless I undergo intense training. And then if you talk to him from this side, he, you know, revives your people if they die, cures poison, um, removes the haunted status effect, uh, or removes cursed items, because there are cursed equipment in this game. And unless you have a cleric's ring, they're really not worth messing with. And even then, they're still really not. Uh, excuse me while I just rummage through your jars, dude. Don't mind me. Yeah, see? Unicorn ring! That's why you look. Hey, Ned. AU where Nyanpa achieves enlightenment when? I mean, the dude makes it all the way to Dark Dawn, so... I think he's probably one of the most enlightened people in Weird. No, no, dude, talk to me. I need your help in defeating the Sand Prince. Okay, fine. Hmm. Who is that? Who speaks to my mind? Young Master, was that your voice I heard in my mind just now? Yeah, what about it? I knew it! You follow them, do you not? I knew it! Nah, it was Ivan's. <laughs> Lol. But you must go through Mogal Forest, the endless woods. The forest itself is a mystery, and its paths even more so. No ordinary man can pass from one side to the other. But perhaps I could, young master. Oof, quit bragging about it, jerk! If you can endure the trials in the Waterfall Grotto, I will tell you. Will you take the test? Sure, dude. Free loot, free XP. Do not worry. 
you will be permitted to enter the grotto. Go now, Isaac. Just remember, you are not the only ones who can read minds. So, real talk. Is Nyanpa a Jupiter adept? Like a natural, non-bonked-in-the-head Jupiter adept? Because I don't feel like mind reading is something achievable through key. Like, you know, Hama and Feze and all them down there in Zion. So is Nyanpa a Jupiter adept? You enjoy reading the minds of others, do you not? If you overdo it, you will soon learn to despise the ability. Enlightenment makes you Jupiter? I mean... If you starve yourself, you really will be full of nothing but air, so... Kinda makes sense. I have already heard of your test from Master Nyanpa. You may enter. Dude, that was a hard jump, not gonna lie. Alright, gang. We got this. The dragon's flame illuminates the path of truth and darkness. Yeah, game, that's about all I really remember from this dungeon, is that specific part. Waterfall gates! Alright. Let's gin the crap out of this guy. Hey, Ivan with the double hit. Nice, nice. Mimic being a dumbass. Cool, cool. Hey, we got the delusion. Alright, everybody. Summon away. I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit. Let me know if uh, it drowns my voice out too much. I need this tight Golden Sun music in my ear! Ow, okay, that actually hurt. Come on, Garrett, finish the job! Damn it, Garrett. Alright, fine. Be that way. He's probably like only got like two health left. No. Interesting. There we go. I told you Garrett would get the kill. Good job, Ivan. Er, no, Isaac, sorry. Whoops! Alright, let's get those heals up. We might be a tad under-leveled for this area, but honestly, that's gonna be a theme on this playthrough. Uh, at least of Golden Sun 1. I am honestly under-leveled in most areas. Ugh! I don't quite remember the layout of this place. This is where we need the shadow to walk on and we can't just- OH WE CAN! We don't even need the shadow to be here! Okay, well. Need to make sure I'm not missing treasure. Yeah, see, look at that chest over there. Give me! Hey, new item. Ooh, it's got a good unleash too. All right, so that was just a broad axe. Garrett does not need one. I don't know if I mentioned this last stream, but uh, I always uh, subscribe heavily to the hand-me-down rule. Isaac, or in uh, Golden Sun 2's case, Felix, always gets the best equips, just flat out. And then uh, everything gets handed down. And of course, if it's something he can equip, then it goes down the line. And in this case, it's usually Ivan and then Maya. Uh, these guys shouldn't be too big of an issue. Whoop. 
Yeah, 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 we're good, okay. I might, you know what, I might even be able to just melee those guys. That's probably what we'll do in the future. Um, we want to go here, here, boom. Ain't no big thing. All right. Yeah, I thought you fought us. All right, gang, let's hit it hard. Hurry hard, hurry hard. Aw, uh, Ivan, come on, that's your gin. You can at least do the double hit. Alright, this salvo should end it. Jin don't have the most health. And it's not running, that's good for us. There we go, good job. Now what gin even is this? I want to say smog, but I don't think it's smog. Zephyr, oh shit, this is where you get Zephyr, okay. Cool. Alright, let's get the heals up. Perfect. Now I think we can pretty much just leave this place now if we wanted. Well, I mean, we gotta get through to the end, of course, but... I mean to say is we don't need to explore as much. I feel like there's treasure there and I want it. Imagine if all the Jin were active party members, Fire Emblem but with Jin, I would play the shit out of that game. Oh, no, I know what I did wrong there. That would be fantastic. Honestly, I've always wanted to see some sort of, uh... Oh! No, shit, okay, I do want that because I needed to jump off of. Okay, we'll get there. I've always wanted to see some kind of large-scale warfare, uh, Golden Sun. Like... Oh no, we need to take this city. Let's have our Mars Adepts lob some fucking... I guess mortar shells would be the most accurate equivalent, but I guess they'd be casting, like, Fireball or Inferno or something like that. Hey, Venus Adepts, tear down their wall so we can storm in, and oh no, they're Venus Adepts, they're trying to hold the wall together. So let's sneak around with our, uh, squadron of Jupiter Adepts, Assassins, you know, like, I just, I want to see more stuff like that. Hey, level 12 for the other two, nice. And I'll always extol the virtues of a Golden Sun fighting game. That would be fantastic. Oh, hi there. We're keeping this as a, uh... Uh, a trophy, by the way. We will not be in uh, I mean, I'll put it into the eye briefly just to, uh... Showcase it being put into the eye, but... Enjoy dinner, Ned. Wait. Was there a door I didn't go in? I feel like there was a door I didn't go in. Am I just crazy? No, there was a door I didn't go in. I thought so. Oh, and this is just where you insert the eye, isn't it? Alright, well I will save state this then. Because I want to keep the eye. All the eye does, for anyone who hasn't seen before, it lights up the room and shows you a shadow. Ooh, a nice shadow, but now we can't get the eye, and I want that as a trophy. We're all a little mad, mwahahaha, that's right, Track. A to the men. Amen! Kill it, Garrett! Nice! Down with moles! Mole people, mole people. Oh, sorry. 
Crab people, crab people. Walk like crabs, but talk like people. Crab people. Alright, and was there any point in going in Middle Path? Oh, and this just gives... Rays of light give birth to shadows, revealing the way. I don't need your stinking puzzle. Yeah, there's no point. Okay. Well, we got the gin, we got the weapon, we got the trophy. Now we just gotta get the proof of victory. Oh. There you go, Ivan. Good job, buddy boy. And boom, boom. Yay! Breaking the puzzle! Uh, what's in here? Oh! This is the proof we need. The secret of key shall be revealed to the disciples of truth. Nice. All right. Go do some inventory management here. Uh, Dragon's Eye. Uh, Ivan, you're going to hold on to that. Unicorn Ring. Garrett can have that, sure. Uh, Water of Life, we should give Maya one for now. An empty bottle. We might want to go um, grab some more of Hermes water next time we're in the vicinity, but we'll be going back there eventually, or at least close enough by that I won't mind stopping by. So we're going to leave that for now. And then the forest gem. Uh, another rule I always follow is Isaac gets all synergy items. All of them. Every single one. I make him my... Utility Synergy Tank. Oh, and now we can... Just get the hell out of here, yeah. Conquered! Young Master, did you complete the test? Yeah, it was pretty easy. Why? You have mastered the secrets of Fusion Temple? Master Nyanpa is waiting for you. Proceed to the temple. The warriors have mastered the secrets of Fuchin Temple. You got anything new to say? No. Easy! Excellent, Isaac! I am so glad to see you master the secrets of Fuchin Temple. We monks call the power you have obtained, Key. You seem confused, Isaac. This is called Force by the Western world, but it is really spiritual power. Oh no, I'm all answering with all no's. <laughs> Not this time. Should do more of that though. I will teach you as I promised. Use this power to go through the forest. What would happen if you let loose this energy in the forest? Haha, you are curious, no? Nah, I already know. I can read minds, you know. You are curious, aren't you? No! You don't. <laughs> oh, I like this, just multiple lines! Uh, they don't normally do this. You don't have to try so hard. You are curious, are you not? No! Oh, is that is that the last one? Yeah, okay, shit. Monsters that wait in hiding would show themselves. You would then try to defeat them, would you not? No, I'd tame them and ride them into battle. Haha, <laughs> that is right. There is no good for in wanton destruction. Monsters are cowardly. They will run once you know you can see. Once they know you can see them, I can read. I promise. They are creatures of the woods, so they do not get lost there. 
How would even monsters know their way around, considering that the forest has been there for like a week at most? Just saying, bro. Now that I have passed my knowledge of key along, I am without worries. Farewell, Isaac. Take care of yourself. Yeah, alright, thanks, bro. Uh, let's get some quick heals. And we'll grab this synergy stone. Perfect. Alright. Now this, for the record, was an optional dungeon. Uh, there are alternative scenes um, in, I think, two spots. If you don't get the Force Gem. But, I mean, why not, right? Is there a gym here? There's not a gym here. Alright. Let's move on to Mogal. It just occurred to me I should probably talk a little bit about the spells you get, considering how important they are and how quickly I've literally just been blazing through my selections. I can kind of play the, the combat of Golden Sun without really thinking too much. It's all very, like, old hat to me. The Broken Sign reads, North Fuchin Temple, South Mogal Prairie. Yeah, it's not a prairie anymore. So, the puzzle here is using force on these stumps and following the way they go, because if you don't, you just get loot. And you have to go back. Oh! Gotta get loot twice. Yeah, there we go. See, they connect with each other. So he went this way, we are gonna go this way. We have our transition square. Hey, we've got amazes have become spirits, and our skeleton friends have become bone fighters. Our first instance in the game of a recolor. They still die like little bitches, though. So Isaac, uh, every adept's a little bit different in what spells they get access to, even within the same element. Uh, although, Isaac and Felix are very identical. In fact, I don't even think there's a difference between the two. But uh, Isaac gets the Quake series, the Spire series, which for now is just a single attacker, but later will become uh, one of our better multi-attacking synergies. And he gets healing and later revive. Uh, he also gets the Gaia series. Um, every adept gains a little bit of uh, extra synergy once they hit four gen. Um, so keeping at least above four set gen is uh, sometimes a good idea to get access to certain spells. Like Isaac gets access to revive, which is the, you know, death revival spell in this game but only when he has four Jin. He also gets access to his best um, uh, Venus Synergy attacking spell, which is Gaia. Maya gets access to the Wish series, which is a uh, party heal spell. Very important. Garrett here has... Uh, Flare, he'll have the Fire Series and the Volcano Series. Uh, the Volcano is meant to be more of a single attacker, but I mean, obviously the later versions have uh, party hitting capabilities. Um, each Adept tends to have, except for like Ivan and Shiba, the two Jupiter Adepts, they all tend to have like a single hitting spell. Although Venus and Mars tend to focus a bit more on it. Uh, for example, Isaac has, uh, later he'll get access to Ragnarok. Damn it. I want, I want that nut! I WANT THAT NUT! Ah! I think I have to be over there to get it. What was I saying? Oh, uh, he gets Ragnarok and then Odyssey after Forgin. Uh, Garrett here has, uh, access to his now, which is Heatwave. 
Oh wait, there's a stump over there we should go check on. There, we'll get the weaker people targeting the dirge, uh, cause they're, they die quicker. We'll get our two stronger people attacking the mole, and maybe we can kill both this turn? Question mark? Nice. Tactical strategy! What was on this other stump over here? Uh, Garrett's Heat Wave turns into Liquefier later, and it's a pretty cool spell. Oh yeah, this is one of the ones we can fight. We'll fight it. Kick its ass. Aha! You silly ape! You can't use Synergy now! Not that you ever would've. Oh wow, this thing has a decent bit of health. Alright, cool. Well, that was pointless and slaughtery. And did we go up or right here? Right. So, of course, we are going to go up first. You know. There are treasure chests in this forest. Can I have this, please? Ah! I want it! What the hell? Why... Why you do this? Oops, and I just wasted half the party. Don't throw mud at me, you jerk. I think maybe if I position myself here... There we go! Give me that nut! Yeah! I'm sorry, I get way too excited about loot. Alright, so, Ape Dude went right. We're gonna go north, see what we can see. Are we just looping? I think we're just looping. Yeah, we're just looping. Alright. Uh, Ivan here has the... Uh, Jupiter Synergy is really strong. They're kind of the best mages. Uh, not, like, as a rule, but just in practice. They have the Ray Line, which is decent, but becomes kind of irrelevant. The Whirlwind Line, which also becomes pretty irrelevant. And the Plasma Line, which is their most devastating uh, one yet. They also tend to get, like, all the, the debuff spells and the, the buffing spells and weird things like sleep or seal or, you know, that kind of thing. Hmm, that's a good question, Drac. Uh, so, yeah, so when you attack an enemy and it dies, it doesn't automatically set the others to attack the enemy left standing? No, that is honestly one of the biggest complaints most people tend to have about the first two games. Is, uh, ooh, nice, uh, Maya. They don't. Uh, you have to actually plan out who's attacking what on the off chance that you kill the enemy because they won't default to a new target. However, that is one of the nice things they fixed in Dark Dawn is uh, they do know how to just switch targets, which is so much nicer. Alright, which way? That way, and I think the other one leads us to the chest, and I think he's gonna go right. If I had to try and remember... Yes, okay. Pretty sure this one leads us to the chest. Yes, okay. Good, good. Which is why you'll notice uh, I tend to do Isaac and Ivan on one target, because Isaac is tougher than Ivan. And Garrett and Maya on the other target, so that way both targets get one strong physical attacker. And the other... You know... It's kind of just the other person we have. Hey, there's Ragnarok! Alright, uh, next combat encounter, I'll show off... Isaac's Ragnarok and Garrett's Heat Wave. Alright, who has the lowest attack? Probably Ivan. Oh, hella Ivan.
All right, the other one went down, uh, so we're just gonna go check out up. It's probably just gonna loop us a few times, but... Yeah, okay. I always like to check. Oh, perfect. So here's Ragnarok, a giant flaming exploding blade of death, and Heat Wave. Which is exactly what it sounds like. Oh, Jin's here. Uh, we get our very first revival Jin, I believe. Quartz. Venus Jin. Oh, and for the final Adept showcase of this game, Maya. Uh, as a Mercury Adept, they tend to be the healers, so she has most of the healing magic and the uh, status removal magic. As well as the Frost series, which is a utility spell. You can use it on the field. We just haven't had a chance to do that yet. The Ice series. And... Don't you get a third one, Maya? No, I'm thinking of Pierre's. Okay, that's really all she gets. So, uh, Glacier will be her best spell until we get Icehorn. But we're not going to get Icehorn in this game. Like, literally no way. I think Ice Horn is like a level 44. We're going to be finishing this game at like level 19, 20 at the most. Golden Sun 1 is not long compared to Golden Sun 2. Alright, there's Quartz. Er, yes, Quartz. Alright, we're going to deal with him in just a moment. Literally just a moment. Die, Deathhead! Cool. Alright, let's get a few quick heals. Pop a save. And get to work. Oh yeah, uh, we now have access to the third tier uh, Jupiter Summon, Procne, and in a moment we'll have access to the third level Venus Summon, which is Cybiel. I'll have to show those two off. Oh, that was easy. Okay. Get wrecked, buddy. Actually, you know what? No, we're going to be showing that the uh, these two off shortly. We won't do that yet. You'll see why in a minute. Ha! Nice jump, dude. I like the uh, Mogul Forest theme. I think it's reused somewhere else too, but it's just a really pretty theme. Hey, good job, Garrett! Wait, is this the Soul Sanctum theme? Am I stupid? Is, is this the Soul Sanctum theme? I didn't even look which way he went. I was too busy face palming at myself. Not down! Cool. See, like, the first, like, three playthroughs, I think, when I played Golden Sun, I never got the Force Gem. I didn't even know it was a thing. I would go in and get that one Jupiter Gin that was in there, but I'd never be able to figure out the puzzle, and I so I would just leave. I, I thought that would that was all of it. 
So, I've always had to brute force Mogul Forest, which is basically not using force on the stumps. But, it's not really that hard to brute force this one. There's a similar gimmick in Golden Sun 2 at uh, Gaia Rock. Uh, but that one you actually can't brute force. It, it's You need to know the trick. Mogul Forest, I mean, you can just... Oh, I'm looping. Time to go backwards and try the other path. Okay, so you go left. You go down. If you go up, I'm, I'm gonna laugh. Oh no, you just fight me. Okay. Never should have come here! You made a big mistake. I ain't messing around on you this time. Hell yeah. Ooh, we got a vial. Alright, well, up is definitely not the path, so of course we check it out. Ooh, a Synergy Stone. I will certainly take that. And now we can go either left or down. I feel like down is the way to go, so we're gonna go left. Yeah, this is for another chest. Good, good. Nice, quick and easy. Hey, the Elven Shirt. Now this and a couple of other items in this game raise the question of are there elves and are there dwarves? Because we see dwarves in the second game, spoiler. But we never see elves. We never once see an elf, but we have an Elven Shirt. And uh, we also had an Elven Rapier earlier. There it is. See? Hand me down in practice! And that's just regular, so Ivan already has one. Elves are invisible? You lie! I always like to say that the dwarves are descendants of the ancient Ankal people, uh, and the elves are a descendant of the Animos. So the elves absconded to the moon, but left behind a few of their artifacts. That's, that's my headcanon, anyway. That's kind of where I was going with Charon's Folly. If that ever comes back, that'd be neat. Well, that's on me. Elves are on the moon, of course. Elves are Lunarians. Oh, absolutely. And the dwarves were the Ancholians. I think this is the last screen of Mogul Forest. I think. Oh, and the symbols on the right show uh, how many people the spell will hit. Uh, Qu Earthquake hits basically the entire party, unless you go all the way to one side. They all eventually get one, but right now the only one who has one is Isaac. Oh, damn, that, uh, that one's not- Oh! We didn't target the spirit again. And it didn't even attack! Goodbye! Does forcing this one even do anything? Yeah, okay, it's doing more of that shenanigan. And it's not the last screen. Cool. You son of a bitch!
Kills him! Kills him! Damn it, Ivan! Damn it, Garrett! Don't defend! Gonna have to heal up soon, but we're fine for right now. There we go, and now we on the right. Alright, which way, bro? Down. Okay. Well, time to immediately disregard you then. That was fun. And that one we saw was the same. Yeah, yeah. Die, Death Head! Get wrecked. This is the last screen, okay. Hold on! Oh, find one more death head. That arctic blade is, uh, pretty good. Alright, Maya. Do the honors if you would. Why, hello there. I wasn't bullying your little brother, I promise. Uh, since Golden Sun had a lot of the cool graphics as a showcase thing, does that mean Golden Sun characters are supposed to have that music video artifact where they fall really dramatically with background sound effects? Oh, absolutely. 100%. Alright, I don't actually remember how tough this thing is. I'm going to assume not, but... I mean, they brought out the boss fight music, so you know it's not going to be a two-turn fight. I'll definitely try and showcase off the two new uh, third-tier summons we have. Also, I don't think you've seen the second-tier Mercury yet. I mean, I haven't really had a chance to use that. No need for Fizz yet, but whatever. Nice, uh, nice war cry there, bud. Alright, we're gonna waste quartz. You get to summon in... Uh, you have one more attack, and you use Nerid. Hey, no binding my Jupiter Adapt! Hey, that's some pretty good damage. I don't know what element this ape is, but I assume it's Venus because forest. Alright, now you better not die to just one summon, okay? I gotta show these off! Isaac was dead inside, so he needed a revive. I mean, you're not wrong. He just can't get into Smash, and it's really depressing. A lot of the, uh... Hey, there we go. He lived just to be showcased on. What a killer ape. Good job, Maya. Oh, and we got the douse drop! I forgot that we get the a, a freaking synergy item from him. You'd think Maya would get this, right? No! Isaac gets all synergy items! All of them! Even when they don't make a goddamn lick of sense. Isaac becomes a Fire Emblem character to try and get into Smash. 
Absolute rip. Alright, we made it to the other side of Mogul. I think we're about to hit uh, Alton or Zion? Alton then first, I think. Isaac himself drives to Sakurai's house and plays Smash with him to get into Smash. Sakurai does not question how this is possible and just accepts it. Ultima. <laughs> I SUMMON ULTIMA! How do you summon an entire village? Hey, good job, Isaac. And he now has the highest level Quake spell. That's that's really good for him. There's a Jin here. Yeah, also in Zion, but there is a Jin up here somewhere. We'll go into Zion in a moment. I want this Jin. I also might be wrong, I need to just double check, it might be above Alton. No, yeah, it's totally up here. Time for... Quake Sphere! It rumbles the ground three times! Oh! <laughs> And then they got Plasmid on. And we got a nut. That felt appropriate. Yeah, right here. Hey, buddy boy. I think you're Corona. I'm pretty sure you're Corona. I just imagined Shadow Fist, but with Isaac as a class card installed doing that laugh. Ha, you can't run for me. Lol. Uh, dunk on him, I guess. Yeah, yeah, just, just, well, yeah, you just dunk on him. Just dunk on him. Maybe, uh, see if Mai can get the fizz off before it dies. Nope. It got Ragnarokked. Look at him vibrate! Yeah, that was Corona. Cool. So that's three for everyone but Maya. Oh, but that's that's literally about to be rectified in like 30... well, like two minutes, I suppose. We'll do that first. Jin does she get? I feel like it's another attacking Jin. Hey, good job, Garrett! He's got Fireball now. That will take the place of Flare Wall as the spell we're using for a while. Alright. We will talk to all these lovely people in a minute. I want that Jin first. Well, I waited too long. Okay. This girl here is collecting water from the river and bringing it to this urn, or jar. And we need to talk to her right here. What are you doing? You made me spill my water! Yeah, yeah. Exactly as planned! <laughs> And bada bing, bada boom, we got ourselves a new gin. Missed, yeah, okay. I thought it was another attacking gin. Alright, now we can go back to the beginning and do this town properly. This is Zion. Travelers are welcome here. Relax, stay long. These children must have come to study Kung Fu at Master Fei's school. 
disasters from the sky, many, many thieves. But I... Ryan has many kung fu masters. Master Fei is strong. How much water was that woman carrying if it can form a puddle so you can't just douse or tundra spam up such a thing? Right? Master Fei said, Yeah! And then the thieves fell. Get wrecked thieves. I think this is the end. Why did your mic dramatically drop in volume? Is it still uh, lower in volume? Sometimes uh, I accidentally pull the mic out uh, from my laptop just by like brushing up against the chair. And so I popped it back in quickly, but it should be at the same volume. Might have just like literally dropped there for a moment though. Uh, yeah, this is the end. We'll stay. Let me know if uh, my mic volume is still not low. I can try and raise it again. Warriors should learn about the towns they visit. Just traveling and fighting is a sad life. It is still low. La. Testing. There, did that help a little? Hmm. Hopefully that helped. When you go to a new place, Follow the rules in the new place. It is even lower now. What in the hell? Alright. Two shapes. Why do you do this? Alright, uh, I'm going to... Oh, wait. No, no, no. I have an idea. Hang on. Hang on. Hangity onity. Microphone. Testing. Yeah, okay, it's coming out of that one. Yeah, it's showing it's out of a hundred. Hold on. Better? Are we nice and loud again? Isaac stares at me. It is better. Hey, good, good. All right. I just had to re-pull out the mic and plug it back in again. The thing that caused the problem was also the solution. Huzzah. All the people who come to eat are from Zion. What happened there? What do you mean what happened there? This is Zion. There are fewer travelers, so fewer people eat here. Where are all the travelers? Alright. Must loot everything as per the norm. He's making hot bean curd. Tastes good with rice. Okay. That's neat. That's what she said. Hey. There's a kimono. Looks like a nightgown for guests staying at the end. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I should move the mouse. Normally, many merchants come to the village, but they have not come yet. I think that is strange. Oh, I don't want to move you. I'd sing if that were the case. When many merchants come, my business is good. But if no merchants come, my business is bad. And I mean, move you with, like, to tears and be emotional because I'm so good. Not move you, like, make you run away screaming from my, from my singing. I, I just, I feel the need to clarify my own statement. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. 
This is the Mulberry Orchard. When the season comes, all Zion comes to harvest. The face winning just sort of push her manually when your synergy fails. Well, the orchard gives the village life. It is very precious to us. Hey, lucky metal! Nice. What about you? Zion is the village of Kinu. Kinu means silk. Silk makes the best cloth. I hope many people come to know the silk of Zion. I mean, we literally have Silk Road, dude. I, th I think you're good. Wait! I talked to her when she was already on her way there. Hold up! Why were you carrying water back? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. So she gathers her water. She brings it over. She pours the water in. Then she goes to get more water while still carrying water. Oh my god. Uh, Drac Duck, what are the Lucky Metals for? So, there are two locations in the two Golden Sun games on the Game Boy Advance, one and two, that have something called a Lucky Fountain. Uh, in this game, it's in Tolby, and in the second game, it is in Spoiler Location, which I will not name. And, uh, what you do is there's a minigame where you throw them into the fountain, and the closer you get to the middle bullseye, the more prizes you win. I don't know why you can only use those medals, you can't purchase them anywhere, so you can only find them. You can also throw coins in and just, like, get money back, but, like, the only way to get prizes is to throw a lucky medal. So. That's what those are for. Alright. Follow Silk Road. When you see the Mountain Fork, go north. Then you will see Alton. Alton has many men. All scary men, too. And nothing to loot. You guys are real disappointing. There is a mine in Alton. There is lots of steel and lots of gems. Mining is very hard work. It takes great strength. It is difficult for women. Wow. Sexist. You need to be moved. No, I don't want to talk to you again. You're sexist. I want to look in the oven. They're steamed dumplings. They're great. Piping hot. Damn poor placement of a send button. Lol. Medicinal herbs. They have special scents. <laughs> I see your medicinal herbs, bro. I know what Jews is talking about. Alright, and that is it in here. A disgusting lack of loot in the old people's home. How dare they? Zion Silk is sent on Silk Road to Tolby. For smack from Luke. Tolby is a big town in the southwest. Oh, I didn't mean to move you. You were fine. I'm sorry, dude. Silk Road is full of silk merchants. Hmm, yes, the floor is made of floor. I agree. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Silk Road is full of silk merchants. It's the Zion Gourmet, the best in the world. It looks so appetizing, it's hard to imagine how good it tastes. I think uh, I think we need to use the move synergy as uh, as a as a smack to stupid people in this game from now on. There are many chopsticks, but not a single spoon can be seen. Hey, smoke bomb! Nice. We'll take it. Silk Road ends in Tolby. It is a big, big town. Slap is invented in Dark Dawn, so you can slap people. Amen. When is a door not a door? When it's very jarring. Yeah, yeah, you see what I did there? Merchants say Tolby is very beautiful, very wonderful. I agree, I like Tolby. When is a door uh, not a door? 
When pigs float. I don't know, I just like coming up with silly answers. I know what you is meaning, though. Oh, did we go in here? I don't think we went in here. The mulberry harvest is over. Now there is much food for the caterpillars. Yeah. Drac coming in. The cocoon threads will become silk. Merchants will buy a lot when they come. And what's in your oven? Stir fry. Cabbage looks strangely appetizing. I like cabbage. Especially in the stir fry. Oh, an elixir. They are only worth 22 gold. But hey, it's still 22 gold. Oh, I should actually talk to the person. Farm work is very hard. Warriors have no idea how hard it is. Of course they know! Farm work is hard on the shoulders, too. It is hard on the back, too. I actually didn't mean to force palm that one, but... What are you gonna do? Uh, and then... I think the weapons store is what's over here. Cause that's... Which one is Faye's school? That's that one, right? Yeah, yeah, it's the big one. Okay. Hula! Hacha! This guy's badass. <laughs> My kung fu is strong. If you go to Master Faye's school every day, someday you will be strong too. Breaking trees with my hand hurts me very much, but it does not hurt Master Fei. He's a great master. So, Kung Fu in Golden Sun. I think it's a really interesting concept that does not get explored at, like, at all. You literally only ever see it talked about here, and then a few other spots like Neon Pa, they practice Ki, which is basically the same as the the kung fu but just more spiritual version i think it's cool because it's a way for people in weird who don't have elemental powers like who aren't adepts to basically like be on par i've always kind of considered uh you know once synergy becomes more involved in the world and people start being more aware of it kung fu would kind of be like the the natural normal person's answer to synergy like if you master kung fu you can probably take on an adept and that's one reason why hama who will we will see very shortly is my favorite pretty much my favorite person in golden sun because she is both a master jupiter adept but she is the person who invented kung fu as it currently stands in this world not maybe not all the key stuff, but she is said to have uh, shown the very first master, Master Fei, everything he knows. So she's just awesome. Young warriors, very gallant. You came through Mogal Forest. Incredible! I respect your deeds. You young warriors look strong, but which is stronger, you or the Kung Fu taught at Master Fei's school? Oh, I guarantee you we could kick Master... Well, maybe not at our level. Master Fei is probably pretty strong. My clothes are not silk. Silk is very expensive. Only the wealthy wear it. Yeah. Oh, uh... We will deal with you shopkeepers in a moment. First, I have to look through all of your things. And... Unless the sparrow has something, it's a big fat goose egg. Yep. Yeah, okay. Martial artists can't use heavy armor. If they do, they can't move quickly. But not warriors. Using much armor is good for them. Zion has martial arts, but Kung Fu alone is not enough. People worry. For that reason, it is not strange to sell weapons in Zion. Some say fighting with weapons is cowardly. I say not true. There are many fighters, and many ways of fighting. Amen, brother. Oh, damn it! Sorry. In warrior battles, you fight with weapons. In kung fu, you fight by dodging. Alright. We got some stuff to sell. That broad axe is a good value. Uh, keep everything else. 
I don't think Ivan or Maya have anything. Yeah, Ivan just has our souvenir. Alright, any artifacts? China dress, is that good for Maya? It is, but it's only good by one. Uh, silk robe is good by three, so we'll get that instead. And can Ivan wear one? He can. And the game tickets, by the way, uh, you just randomly get from uh, certain purchases. Uh, and then uh, later on in the game, you can use them for certain, like, dice games. Which are pretty fun. I'm looking forward to those. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the silver circlet? Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, so everyone is fully kitted out for armor. Let's see if we can do the same for weapons. Okay, nothing magical. Oh wow, the battle rapier is stronger than the arctic blade. See, yep, you don't keep it for very long. That's what uh, Ton was mentioning. But that's fine. I think we might run out of gold here. Alright, so Ivan can have one of those. Can he do maces? He can't do maces. Alright, so we'll get Ivan a battle rapier as well. Uh, we already dealt with broad axes. And then Maya. Oh, yeah, shoot. Maya is so close. Can we sell her Ankh to make room? We can. Cool. So everyone gets fully kitted out. That's awesome. And then, do you have any artifacts, Miss Item Seller? Just a side crystal, we don't need that. Alright, good! That turned out well. Stop into the Sanctum, talk to the Great Healer. I came to Zion from very distant lands to spread goodwill. When you stay in Zion a long time, you start to speak strangely. My head gets very confused. Racist! Alright, I want to see him do his thing once more. Nice. Alright. Final stop in Zion. You warriors should visit Master Faye's school. You will be surprised. Master Faye's school is training. It makes us very strong. This is Master Faye's school. You came to watch? Promise me you will be quiet. Warriors should learn martial arts. They will help in battles. Just listening does not make one strong. I learn by watching. Great kick. Kick comes from the hip. That causes much pain when it hits. Oh. Warriors fight with weapons. Kung Fu means little to you. Flexibility and jumping are very important in Kung Fu. I move too quickly. You can't hit me with your weapon. Try it. I mean, I could hit you with a plasma bolt. Hey, nice. Strong kicks are very important. Kick, kick, kick. That is how you do it. Practicing kicks hurts my feet very much. But I still try hard. Hey, don't be a try hard. Master Fei is talking with Feze about something very important. You cannot disturb them. Master Fei is very busy. He is speaking with his daughter, Feze. You cannot enter now. Everyone in Zion can do martial arts, but the Fei School of Martial Arts is the most elite. Warriors came. Warriors came to learn the Fei School's Kung Fu. That is how famous it is. I want to learn to punch, so I train. Quick punches are very good. Master Fei is very good. That punch was good. You surprised me, warrior. I didn't... I didn't... 
I didn't punch, but I mean, if you insist, get wrecked. Master Fei is very busy. Do you still wish to see him? Look there. You see that line? Stand there and use Chi. If that tree falls, I will take you to see Master Fei. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Chi is the Kung Fu and some of the monks. And Ki is the thing closest to synergy, but not quite synergy. And is some of the other monks. That's, that's what it is. It's a little confusing, because we have both in-universe. Also, get wrecked, Log. Yeah! What happened? The tree fell on its own! Warriors cannot use... Wait, this is different from Chi. Do not step over the line, warrior. Stand beyond the line, then try your Chi. I mean, I'm not, but okay, I'll take like a few steps back, there. Once again, get wrecked, Log. Oh, okay, a little bit forward. Get wrecked, Log? There we go. What did you do, warrior? Some of your synergy leaked out and pushed him? I mean, probably. The warrior used Chi. He did it from the line, and the tree fell. He knows Kung Fu. Do you know Kung Fu? I know Kung Fu. It is unbelievable that someone who does not know Kung Fu can use Chi. I'm telling on you! Yeah! What happened? The door opened on its own. That was me as well. Feze? Wait! Are you worried that ha I was hate saying his name. That Hsu is late? I guess he would just be Su. He is only a little late in returning from Lama Temple. Do not worry. Something is wrong with Su. I sense it. Ah, Feze. Is it your power again? Ever since gems fell from the sky and hit me, I have sensed bad things. You say you sense evil ever since you received the power of prophecy. You have told me already. Thanks, Mr. Exposition! I do not believe it, Feze. Your visions are just coincidences. My visions came true many times, no? I had a vision about Mogal Forest, and that came true. Yes, your predictions came true, Feze. It was very surprising. The flood in Alton, did I not predict that too? All Feze's predictions come true. See, father? I have heard this all. I was surprised too, but it is still coincidence. You still don't believe it? Sue is late, so you worry too much. But do not think bad thoughts. You sent people to find Sue, correct? Stubborn old man. What did you say, Feze? You should not speak so to your elders. I will not ask anyone. I will go alone then. It is too dangerous. Yeah, bitch, she don't, she don't care. Yeah, Master Fei, Feze has gone. I don't know how to treat that yah they keep doing. Feze was very angry. She was frightening. Sue is in danger. Feze is going to help. It's dangerous to go alone. Take the, and she left. It's dangerous to go alone. Take your synergy. Feze knows Kung Fu. She will be all right. Feze is alone. She cannot go too far. She will give up soon enough. Until then, let her be. The tree. It fell. What happened? 
The warrior did it. He used chi. Warrior, you. Can you use chi? Warrior, you speak nonsense. You use chi. Do it again. Now. I want to see your chi, warrior. Can't tell me what to do. I want to see the chi of a warrior who knows martial arts. Why won't you show me, warrior? Fine. There. Yeah! The tree fell! Master, did you see? The warrior used chi! The warrior's chi is excellent. Are you surprised, Master? What is wrong, Master? Hmm. The warrior did make the tree fall, I grant you that. Is something wrong with the warrior's chi? What the warrior did, it is not chi. What? It is not chi? Hmm. It looks very similar, but it is not chi. Warrior. Have you been to Fusion Temple? Ah, I knew it. How are Chi and Fusion Temple related? I learned my Chi from Master Hama of Lama Temple. Then, it is the same as Chi, is it not? Very similar, but still different. Chi concentrates the energy of the body into the hand, then releases it onto a distant object. You warriors used energy focused from the mind, understand? This warrior is wise. The power to will something to move requires more wisdom. Fusion's Chi releases the mind's energy like Chi releases the body. I clearly said a dimple, different temple, temple noobs. Yup. The body's energy has limits, but mental energy has few limits. Train your key. It will grow very strong. Do your best, warrior. Practice, everyone. She has its limits, but anyone can use it. Practice, practice, until you learn the power of chi. I really wish we, at some point or another, had gotten to see an actual fight with a, with a Kung Fu Chi person in Golden Sun. Because we never see it. We, we don't know what it looks like. I have a, a kind of a headcanon about that, and I built a system for, um, for Chi users, but uh, no one ever used it, so I never got to put it into practice. I think there's something in here. I'm pretty sure there is. Nope! I'm wrong. Alright, later, later, later! How are we doing on Jin? Everyone's at three. Cool, cool. Oh, hey, Feze. You are the warriors from the school. Are you strong warriors? I am happy to see strong warriors. I hope you will go west. Going west alone is very dangerous. I must find someone to take me west. Yo, homegirl, I got you. Alright, was there anything here? Or do we have to go south? I think we have to go south. But I could be wrong. Fenze wants to do wants us to do a journey of the West reenactment. Yep. Isaac can be Goku. Felix will be Vegeta. It fits perfectly. Hey, Ivan's got a better spell. Uh, newest in the Ray series. Yeah, okay, that's Alton right there. Ba <laughs> 
I'll probably visit the uh, inn again. So I want to go check south of uh, Zion. So we'll just heal up there. I'm not worried about petty damage right now. Alright, so everyone but Maya is showcasing a new synergy here. Well, and Isaac, but his is still relatively new. So there is Storm Ray. Then Oh no no let let Garrett get the kill, Maya. Good, thank you. And here is Fireball. Wow, that still didn't kill it? Damn, son. Is there anything here? Literally nothing. No gin here. Yeah. Okie doke. Go stay at the end quick in Zion and then we'll go back up to Alton. Alton Brown, that is! <laughs> oh, and you know that thing uh, where the physical attacks will uh, go away if the enemy dies before the person can attack? How they'll just defend? The same is technically true of synergy as well. If you do like a single target synergy or one that encompasses a group and uh, that target or group dies before the person can cast it, they won't cast it at all. And if you cast it with, like, one enemy on the far left being on the far left of the spell, well, the spell will still hit uh, with them being on the far left, so they won't have as much damage done to them. It's a little silly, but what can you do? I just love Golden Sun's music so much. Nut. Alpine Crossing. Yeah! Silk Road! Builders block the road! Hey, Feze. My vision! It came true! Sue! Sue! It is no good! I cannot hear Sue's voice! What do I do, warrior? Should I return to Zion? Yeah, hun, go get help. Going back is no option. I must find Sue. Sue is in danger. I can sense it. I must find him soon. Alright, well, you have fun with that. I will just solve all of the problems behind the scenes. I always hate having to do the gin swap just to get access to growth. I'm so glad Dark Dawn fixed that. Hey, Power Brad! Who has the lowest HP? I haven't. Makes sense. I haven't ends up getting a lot of the, uh... Of the items. The stat-ups. And now we come to Alton. Oh, there's a gin here. There's a gin here. My gin senses are going off. No? I could have sworn there was a gin here. Gin senses? Are you lying to me? Hmm. 
I guess not. I don't know. A uh, small little enclosed spot like this always sends the gin senses off. But, uh, I guess not. Yeah, no, okay. We already got the world map gin nearby. So I guess that's all they're gonna do here. Garrett! What are you doing, bro? There we go. Alright, well, time to move on then. Is this your first time to visit Alton? It must look a lot like a coastal town, huh? The day the gems fell from the sky, these water-spewing monsters appeared out of nowhere. Now the village is ruined because of them. Well, dude, you have several lines of dialogue. Look at how much Alton has changed. Can't do much here until the waters subside. Oh, I already, I already said that one. Damn it! Yes and yes. Nothing gets by you. Alton never even had a well in the old days. Water spewing monsters are what waterlogged the village. Yeah, their whole shit is flooded. Even the mine is submerged. No one can enter it. Oh, I should be mind reading. Even the toughest of miners can't do much in this water. You came to Alton at a bad time. You're terribly unlucky, huh? I think this is just a chest, but this might be the way to go. Yeah, it's just a chest, okay. And we'll go in the house. Oh, that's the inn. Perfect, perfect. Don't mind me, guys. Just rummaging through your stuff. We get uh, we get reveal soon. So, oh wow, this uh, chef's a little manic. I came from Zion. I cook good food. Eat up. I became a cook after I came to Zion, but I still cook well. After I came from Alton, I don't know. Whatever. He's making roast beef. Even the peppers look appetizing. He's making shrimp in the chili sauce. The shrimp looks so scrumptious, my mouth is watering. Man, I could do with some shrimp. Do you want weapons? I'll sell you anything you want once the waters have receded. What in the world did we do to deserve this fate? You wouldn't say that if you saw my weapons. I wish I could show you. I'd give anything for someone to return Alton to its former glory. You look pretty young, but if you are a true warrior, please help us. Now hold on! You said anything. How much you offer in here? I'll take a reward. There's a book titled Alton, The Mining Village. Alton mines are famous for their beautiful gems, according to the book. Very yeah, cool. We got a little damp, but we're doing okay. We must count our blessings. After all, a lot of good people have been hurt in this flooding. Don't count your blessings! You have to remember, lots of people lost everything they own. It's just sad when you think about it. Dude, your inn is surprisingly loot-free and I'm not having it. None of us can go home until the water subsides. Most of the village is still submerged. It will be a long time before Alton returns to its former glory. Anything? Come on, give me something! Even like six coins! I'll take an elixir! Not many people come up Silk Road to Alton. You're an odd one, you are. Didn't mean to slap you, old man. Of course, you can't go west of the mountains without taking Silk Road. It's been a long time since I got a break from doing housework. Hey, look on the bright side. I hate sitting around like this. I want to go home. Of course, our house will be ruined now. I wish I could move away. Now I finally have an excuse to move to my favorite town, Toby. Kobe. Aww. Poor Kobe. No matter what happens, 
I'll never abandon Alton. Leaving Alton for Toby? Well, that's just crazy. Is it Poppycock? Balderdash? Tomfoolery? If we could just destroy the monsters, all the water should drain away. If the water beasts continue to flood us, our entire village will be submerged. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Chill, guys. Your golden hero is here. Get out of my get out of my way, old man. Old man. Try and examine your graves for treasure. Okay, thank you. We can't drink the water the monsters spew. It's disgusting. Won't anyone slay those beasts? Fiddlesticks. Yeah, there you go. Ugh. The monsters spewed out all of this water. It smells foul. It's probably stagnant, to be honest. Alton always used to run short on water. Now we're all flooded in. Either way, we just have bad luck when it comes to water. Water is nice, but not when it's flooding your home. We'll go murder that beast in a moment. We gotta come down and talk to these people. Oh no! What will I do if all of my merchandise is soaked? If my goods are wet, I'll have to dry them out before I can sell them. Actually, if you sell herbs and herbal stuff as your business, yeah, flooding would basically destroy everything you have. Which sucks. How can those creatures spit up so much water? It's almost like they're turning the air itself into water. How horrible. My house is totally coated in monster spit. I'm glad I saved my very first love letter. But what about everything else? It was after that eerie night when the gems fell from the sky. That was when the water spewing beasts appeared in the mine. Please save the helpless and Alton. Look guys, I'm on it. Stop panicking. You're all good, I promise. But first... Let me get some shut-eye. Just, just, you know, tough out the night, guys. You're good. My store is submerged. I want to sell armor, but there's no way. But there was no way. All of my armor inventory is rusting, even as we speak. Hey, don't run! I was gonna murder you! Get back here! Get over here! Like, while it's hopping, we could just run up, cause shenanigans, and we're good to go. Look at that thing, using synergy like it matters. Look at this, we're just standing here! We could have murdered it by now! We're watching it jump around at like, a mile... Half a mile an hour. Gotta be polite though! Hey friend! Don't mind me! Oh, okay, we're just gonna let it go now. You run, giant monster that we could easily stop. Alright, well thank god it has zero brains. Thank god, am I right or am I right? Oh, and it's called Living Statue. Alright, these I don't remember being too tough, but we'll use standard boss strats anyways. What if Isaac is evil? Eh, I could buy it. What's your evidence? Oh, 
Oh, and Corona, which we got just a little bit ago, is just a boost defense gen. Just like, um, well, kind of like Breeze, but Breeze is resistance, not defense. And Zephyr makes you go quick. Very good, uh, Garrett. Very good. Alright, I think the tier 2 summons should be enough to destroy this guy. Oh yeah, that was more than enough. Overwhelming firepower, massive Daka. Daka, 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 Daka. All right, we barely even took any damage. And even though one of our party members will always be able to cast Frost, we got the Frost Jewel. Give it to Isaac! As Isaac must have all of the synergy, but we're still gonna make Maya do it. So, we got the water to go down a little bit. And I think, like, most villagers have new lines of dialogue now. No? Okay. Just some. Pretty much just all the ones that are now on this level. But we're getting the flooding to go down. I think this is the Tolby couple from the inn. If the monster that did this were here right now, I'd give him such a smack! I'm just kidding. I'm opposed to all this violence. One blow's not enough! Jab! Jab! Hook! In comes the uppercut! I'm just picturing like a totally sweet-faced, innocent-looking chick. And then her face just contorted with fury. Ooh, nice nut. Nut. Oh no, the whole house is soaked. As the last strike was dealt, a magical dam holding all the water disappeared. It's going to take a lot of work to get this house back in shape. I think the in-game logic is, once you have a monster that's not constantly pouring more out, um, the, the holes in the mines just allow it to naturally subside. But it is really quick. Hey, I have a few things to sell you. I never use Psy Crystal, so you can have that. Oh, and an antidote. And three vials. Yeah, that's it. Meanwhile, do you have anything interesting? No, no. Kung Fu Lady. She actually might legit know Kung Fu. Very valid. The waters around here have subsided. I wonder if the holes in the mine allowed the water to drain. As the monsters go away, the waters recede. Maybe all of the monsters will disappear soon enough. I mean, I said I'm on it. Don't worry, guys. I think that's all I can do here right now. Yep. Into the mine we go! This is where we get the lift synergy. Okay, can't go here yet. What are we dealing with? Spiders. Sorry, tarantulas. Another uh, recolor. I always like to follow the um, the rails when I'm in this area. I just I find it kind of fun. Oh no! The first tarantula wasn't enough, so now they sent us two tarantulas! Oh my god! Just 
Get wrecked. Hey, good job, Isaac. I think everyone is level 15 now? No. Garrett and Ivan seem to level up at pretty much the same time. And they're the last two. I think we need the lift gem to go through here. Oh, this is just another dead end. I think there's also a mimic here. And I think it's even the first chest we come across. And I think it contains a game ticket? If I'm not mistaken. Oh, there's our next monster. Sup, bro? Oh, hey, look! Rat, uh, fighters now instead of rat soldiers from before. Two tarange! Stream leg burst power! <laughs> That timing, though. Don't smoke bomb me! Maya is not deluded! You take that back. She believes in mud shipping, too. Finish it off, Garrett! Oh, wow, Garrett already went. Okay. Good job, Ivan. You poked it to death. Alright, so that's the minecart. We gotta flip the switch. Nope! That. Uh, but... Is there anything else? No, not until the water drops. Alright. MW's missing out? Yeah. She said she'd be able to make the stream today, but she did also say that she was having a really rough day. So it's possible, uh, things have just continued to go roughly. Um, see, like, even though, um, this ape is the only enemy left on there, and it doesn't really look like it, just because of the, uh, the way the animation worked, the way the damage calculates, it was still calculating uh, that ape as if it was standing adjacent to the target of our spell, therefore receiving less damage than he would have normally. It's a, it's an odd quirk of Golden Sun, but... You generally uh, learn to just kind of work around it. Guys! What the hell? Oh, and Fireball is a uh, full enemy party hitting move, which is good. So then why don't we do that? There we go. And this should kill both of them. Yes, perfect. A and... Oh, Garrett went before Ivan, eh? Uh, what's my... There it is. Had to remember what my select was for a moment. Alright, let's kick his ass. You know what, let's just, uh, uh, well, Isaac's running low on synergy. We'll, we'll stick with Jin. It works. Damn, would have been nice to put him to sleep. And then, uh, I think just attack for the rest. No. Okay, well, use your summons then. There we go. And there's Ivan. Popped off. The water level has gone down by one level. Uh, we can go explore stuff in the town again, I believe. Uh, but we also have more we can do in here. Actually, I don't think the town updates until we kill one more water monster. I could be wrong, though. Ah, we got caught by surprise. They picked on Garrett a little bit. Jerks. Summon Mars on him! And Mercury for good measure! 
Hit him with the song of ice and fire! Hey, in that order, too. Not enough to kill, though. Might have been if I'd had uh, Mars actually target the dirge. Alright, so we can go down here. Was there anything to explore on this side? I don't believe so. Yeah, no. Oh, and we can't come here until we get lift anyways. Uh, we gotta remember that that chest is there. Shadow Fist does not leave a chest behind. That is uh, very anti this channel. Hey, cop! Good morning to you, my friend! How many hours of sleep did you get? Also, I will not let it perish! All chests are precious. Man, Isaac is just hemorrhaging, uh, synergy with that Quake Sphere. Good morning! Five and a half? Oh, that's, that's decent. I, 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 I can usually live off five and a half. Good old Alton. Alright, we're gonna stick with Earthquake for now, I think, instead of Quake Sphere. Just because it hemorrhages way less synergy. You shouldn't be living off five and a half. Oh god, some days I live off like three. It's a life. Although I've been pretty decent about getting like at least four to four to six hours to last in the last couple of months. And now we can go down here. Uh which way do we want to go? Both of these <coughs> both of these types of enemies, I was just about to say, both of them can split off from each other. The slimes and oozes can do the same thing too. Uh, the drone bees can as well, but uh, you don't tend to see much of them. Okay, this area is kind of big. Oh, hi, rat fighters. Hi, Ben. Come on. No missing. There you go, and... Uh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. I even just wanted the kill. That's all it was. Uh, what the heck is down here? Is the minecart down here? No, the switches. I think we want to hit the switch, but I also think there's a treasure chest for us if we don't hit the switch. So are they rats that fight, or things that fight rats? Uh, they seem to be rats that fight. Yeah, we're not going to hit the switch yet. Probably gonna have to heal up soon, though. Alright, so what's this way? Oh, this way is a Mario Kart. Oh, well, let's find out then. Hi, Slime Beast. Goodbye, Slime Beast. Hey, Mai's got uh, better healing. Good for her. 
Oh, yeah, okay, it just lets off here. That's fine. Harmless enough. Whose switch are we flipping? Who's ever switches we want, cop. Who's ever switches we want. Perfect. Actually, you know what, Isaac? I don't even want you uh, using synergy. Let, let the other guys handle this one. You just sit there, have a Kool-Aid. You're good. Chill, bro. See? They got this. Let them do the hard synergy work. Oh, here's that mimic I mentioned. Uh, we're gonna heal. Are calamars good to make squid rings and stuff? I mean, I would think so. I love calamari, so... I would definitely be willing to try. That's no mimic. I will say one thing. I know where all the mimics in both games are. Off by heart. I don't know why I know that so well. I just do. Also, we put it to sleep, so may as well just keep attacking. Oh no, it woke up! Alright, get to summoning then. Level 16 knight. Good job, buddy. <laughs> oh, poor cop. Forever traumatized by my use of gin. This room is pointless. We already know how to use frost. You gave us that tutorial already, game. What are you doing? Haha, -ha, no poison for you. And it did give us a game ticket. I don't even know why I remember that. I think because it's always like, a game ticket? Why the hell are you giving me a game ticket? Yeah, just defend, Isaac. Garrett and Maya have this. Ivan could probably just defend too, to be honest. Australia needs more tarantulas? Well, that's a horrific statement. Alright, well, I can't go anywhere but this way. We've got a chest over here. This is probably the switch thing I was thinking of. She's got a ticket to ride. Uh, yeah, this should be good. We'll take a bit of damage, but that's fine. That's easily restored. She's got a ticket to ride and she don't care. Good finish, Ivan. Nothing here. Alright, here's where the switch is. It's currently pointing that way. Yeah, so we don't want to mess with it yet. We want to get that treasure chest. And then make sure we extra target that ape on the left. That's a lot of damage. What is? The damage the rat fighters did. Apes! Apes indeed. Oh wow, we didn't manage to kill any of them that turn. That sucked. 
Why don't you give that one a love tap for me, Isaac? Just, you know, just, just give it a little smoocharoo. There you go. Good boy. Time to commit brutality. Amen, Berta. Garrett's level 16, so Ivan is about to follow. Alright, this way. FOR THE TREASURE CHEST! Woohoo! Gimme that, gimme that, gimme that, gimme that, gimme that! Ooh, Dragon Shield. No, Garrett, you can't have it. Isaac has to have his turn with it. Uh, Iron Shield. You could use you could use gin kills from time to time, you know. I mean, I don't even know which ones would be needed to use on uh, which enemies, and it's usually quicker to just not worry about it. Get him! Good job. Get him! Aw, oh, Garrett! We had it! You dingling. Isaac had to step up. Or Ivan. That, that was probably Ivan. I didn't look. Oh, uh, switch is up here. You gotta flick it. And now we may go fight Water Monster. You can tell by checking when the enemy takes damage. Okay. I'm assuming you mean from uh, Synergy. And off we go! The elemental damage triggers the statement with three exclamations. They are weak to that element. You know, I don't know if I ever noticed that. I shall take a look. Ugh! Guys! Come on! Guys, it took triple X damage. And hit him hard. So that was one exclamation. That was one exclamation. That's one exclamation. And that's three exclamations. Okay. So let's let's just see here what the benefit is. Use Gen Weakness to kill this guy, please. I was already on it. I'll scratch that itch just once. There you go. <laughs> Did that give you the fix you needed? I have done that before, like I've seen the, the way they flash when they die. Uh, but it's always usually just been accidental. Can I climb down? No. No climbing down. You feel fulfilled. I am very glad to ab oblige me, brother. Uh, I need to go down. Now I think we just leave and return back to the surface? Yeah. Because now we have to go to another cave entrance. Waters around here have subsided. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. Go away! You're you're boring. All right, we have uh, armor and weapons. That's good. <clears throat> Do 
don't be too harsh on those beasts. I'm just glad to get my house back. Now kill every other enemy like that. Yeah, no. The pots and pans are rusted. That sucks. Are you trying to find your way west through the mountains? There should be a passage that leads west at the bottom of the mine. How convenient. I thought the village was done for. I'm glad we didn't give up hope. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what armor has in store for us. But first, let's rob his place. His damaged and corroded inventory. Nope, nothing. Makes sense. Oh, let's talk to him. It's great that I can sell armor out of my shop again. Yay, my stuff! Alright, well we got things to sell. Uh, antidote. Ooh, we got good coinage going on too. Man, I thought that old man, are you trying to find your way through me? Oh my, I wouldn't know how to respond to that either. Other than, get out of the way, old man! Nothing new. Ooh, but definitely new armor. Oh, I didn't realize the elven shirt was giving Isaac such agility. Well, that's fine. He does. He's already pretty fast. He doesn't need it. Those two can't have chainmail. They already have their silk robe. About gauntlets. Better than the iron shield, not better than the dragon shield. Already got armlets. Iron helms are new. That's good. For Isaac and Garrett. And I think they already have silver circlets? Yep. Give Garrett the elf shirt? That probably would have been wise. But I'm okay with him being slow. I kind of plan around it. Uh, anything else over here? We already went in here, right? Yeah, that was old people. Alright. What about weapons? Hey! Nine coins to steal. Thank you, weapons dude. Thank goodness the water has receded. I can open up shop again. Only a merchant knows the joy of being open to do business again. I completely agree, dude, and so would my Garrett. Any special weapons? Nothing. Ooh, Synergy Rod, that's new. Uh, let's give that to Ivan. And nothing else new, okay. Ooh, new normal weapons though, look at that damage increase. Sexy. Get Garrett kitted up. And that's it. Isaac looked through the barrel and found nothing. He does a lot of that. I didn't want to leave my hometown. That's why I came back. Bitch. Bottom of the mind, the end of the easternmost passage. I won't give that up. I heard someone killed the water beasts. That's why I came back. There's no place like home. My husband's sense for finding treasure has never failed. Once the water recedes, we'll dig up that spot he found. Yeah, but I'm gonna beat you to it. Also, yeah, no, I love that. Like, swords on the wall, swords in barrels. Expensive looking shit, but none of that is worth taking. You defeated those monsters, didn't you? Here, let me thank you with a kiss! Hey, you're turning beet red! FBI, open up! Bad! Stay away from me! Go! Away! Mom and Pop know something about the bottom of the mine. I wish they'll tell me what it was. FBI, you're going to jail for a long time. Yeah. Like, shit chick. 
Don't just do whatever you want. Did we already go over here? I feel like we did. Yeah, we did. Okay. The waters have flushed out tons of rock from the mine. Maybe now we'll find gems and ore we've never even seen before. That'd be pretty dope. It'll be beggar, better than digging up more of those darned ancient relics. Oh no, just ancient relics. Isaac, I can show you the bottom of the mine. Just come with me. Oh god. That's not okay, cop. You 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 just you just know. No, my friend, no. Alright. Let's murder these helpless animals that are uh, attacking us, so therefore not helpless. Oof, got off a ransack on Maya. I mean, I'd ransack her too, if you know what I mean. No, nah, that's awful. Or is it? Yes. Uh, is there a gin in here? I feel like there is a mercury gin in this mine. I could be wrong, though. I targeted the ape a little bit more with that tundra. Hopefully that's enough to get the kill. Nope. Uh, is there anything even in here? Yes. Yes, there is. Oh my god, okay. So the two full party hitting ones are gonna aim to the right. And you two can aim in the middle. Apes are harder than Maya? Well, that's just utter blasphemy. Heresy! I should stop doing Quake Spheres. They eat up through Isaac's synergy way too quick. Hey, another lucky metal. This is a very long winding path. Bye bye. There was another path I could have taken to, and oh, I there is a gin. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. This must be spritz. There's definitely a gin there. Yeah, Macronics, you know, you know what's up. Also, hi, welcome to the stream. Don't scare them away, cop. Oh, Garrett, I know you were deluded, but come on, man. You bring great shame upon your family. Hey, no problem, Macronix. I think I'm a I'm a good scene for that kind of environment. And I mean, hey, if you know your Golden Sun stuff, then uh, you clearly must be a good person. Ah, oh, monsters! Stop it! I don't want to play with you right now. I'm trying to play in the puddles. Garrett brings shame to his family by virtue of existing. 
Well, uh, yes, cop, you are very encyclopedic about Golden Sun stuff. That is a trait to be admired. Hey, Maya's got Ice Horn. So what's her, what's the third tier ice spell? Is it, like, pure ice or? No, 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 that's not it. What the hell is it called? I always think that it's Ice Horn, but it's not Ice Horn. Ice Horn is the mid-level. I did some Golden Sun videos. Oh, cool. Ice Missile, really? That's such a lame name. Meh. I still wish for a fourth Golden Sun. I mean, hey. You and me both, friendo. I, you know what, to be honest, these days I, I kind of am okay with not getting a Golden Sun 4. I would really prefer just to get a Golden Sun fighting game. That would be the best. Made by Axes in a tag style. Just be magnificent. Oh, yeah, let's show off Ice Horn. And I've always had this vision of uh, Satoros and Minardi uh, being one character where it, uh, they fight together. And they're like side by side, back to back kind of thing. And all their combos revolve around one attacking while the other like sets something else up. Like I just, I just picture it in my head. We might get a new Golden Sun if Shadow killed enemies with Jin. You hush. I just wonder what really happened at the end of Golden Sun 3. Yeah, that's, that's really fair. Leaving us, like, the cliffhanger in Golden Sun 2 was bad, but it ultimately wasn't that bad. But the cliffhanger for Golden Sun 3 was absolute horseshit. How I know this? Camelot invited me to a back alley once and told me that. You lie, cop. You bring Garrett shame upon you. Alright, where is this going? Oh. You know, I, I came and walked over here several times. You'd think I would have known that. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Easily rectifiable. Did Gold Sun 2 have a cliffhanger? It... It had Alex. Alex was its cliffhanger. And of just like, clearly there's more to come, you know? Shit, I didn't save. It's still surprising that people still play and stream Golden Sun. Not a lot of people know about GS. Um, Golden Sun is my absolute all-time favorite series. Like, it's not perfect, but I just... It's so precious to me. If you like watching Golden Sun, you should uh, follow the channel, Macronix. I will be going through all three games, although not necessarily back-to-back. -back, but we will be going through all three games in the series. We'll probably do Golden Sun 2 right away. But uh, I also want to do some Celestes, so we'll be doing that as well. Might take a bit of a break before Golden Sun 3, but not too much. <laughs> Thank you, coppers. That, uh, synergy, or that, well, that weapon is, uh, really suiting Ivan well. What is it? The synergy rod? Synergy rod, that's what it is. Yeah, G3 is not the best. I don't know. I still like Golden Sun 2 the best as well. I think Dark Dawn is a perfectly fine game. It's just not necessarily the best Golden Sun game. Just because they retcon, you know, a whole bunch. Hey, thanks for the follow, Macronix. Notification didn't pop up. That is annoying.
That's weird. Uh, you know, you would be surprised. Some people in the Golden Sun forums prefer Golden Sun 1 to Golden Sun 2, which honestly blows me away. Like, this game is good, too, but it's merely the prelude to the Lost Age. And then, I like some things Dark Dawn did. Like, adding bows, they fixed a lot of the little things, like, um, you know, not at uh, attacking if the enemy you were supposed to be attacking dies first. I like some stuff like that. I just, honestly, I, I even like the puzzles that they did in uh, Dark Dawn. I really like the whole touchscreen uh, 3D environment aspect, but the retcons, man. The retcons and the paths, uh, the points of no returns. Those are my biggest gripe with, uh, oh yeah, Maya's got Wish now, with uh, Dark Dawn. I do also think the game's too easy. Like, Dark Dawn is one of the easiest, uh, it is straight up the easiest Golden Sun in there. You can get to level 99 with every character with, like, two hours of grinding at the final area. And I kind of consider that part of what you do now, is I always get everyone to level 99 and then beat the final <laughs> boss for shits and giggles. It's the biggest flaw in the earlier Golden Suns. Which, the, uh, the attacking thing? Yeah. I, I'm not a fan of that. I, I mean, you kind of get used to it, but it's still it's still annoying. All right, I think we're almost at the end of Alton here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. If we go up there, we end it. So we shall go up there. And unfortunately, I'm sorry to say, you don't get to see the funny scene with Garrett. Because I already have the forest gem. Man, those Umbra soldiers at uh, Comp are the toughest the game gets. The Umbra soldiers at the beginning of uh, Golden Sun that you fight when you meet Kraden for the first time. The final boss, although not as much, and Dolahan are the only three fights in that game that are any challenge at all whatsoever. But they themselves are really hard. I'm sorry, no Garrett scene. For those who don't know, if you don't get the Force Gem and you come here, because remember I said it was optional, Garrett will punch the wall instead in like frustration that it's a dead end. It's really funny, but I mean, who doesn't get the Force Gem if they can? But Dolahan has a fixed pattern. Yeah, that does really help his fight. Uh, he still can be really challenging, though. Especially just in terms of uh, raw levels. Alright, I think we're all healed. We are. This fight should not be too hard. I actually, for Dark Dawn, um, when it came out, I happened to be working at Chapters. Uh, which, for those who don't know, is a Canadian bookstore chain owned by Indigos. And uh, we happened to get the Dark Dawn strategy guide in, which I thought was really cool. And I got a staff discount, so I got myself that. So I actually have the Dark Dawn uh, strategy guide. It's uh, very damaged, as I've had it for a while, and it's uh, not been in the best of conditions. I wonder if the statue is related to Lemuria? I mean, they could be. There's a lot in Golden Sun we really don't know, but I'm going to guess not. Alright. I am a strategy guide myself? Yeah, absolutely. You are a strategy guide cop, although a very biased one. You're like a strategy guide where if the person doesn't follow the advice to the letter, you like transform into a giant hand and crush them or something. Five K HP GS2 easy Dolahan mid boss. This is literally called a hydro statue. I mean we do have King Hydros. All 
Alright, we're gonna need to pop that sprit soon. Oh yeah, we now have access to the tier 4 uh, Mercury Summon, which is the strongest Mercury Summon in Golden Sun 1. We don't start getting fancy new um, summons until Golden Sun 2. Yeah, we're gonna need that spritz immediately, please. <clears throat> oh yeah, and the tier 3 uh, Mars one, you haven't seen that one yet. Well, I mean, you two chatting in the chat have, but I know some people watching have not played Golden Sun. <clears throat> I wonder if we'll finish this with Boreas. That'd be funny. These effects do kick ass. I love Gold Sun 1 summons. I like some of the upgraded summons in uh, Dark Dawn. Some of them like just look nicer, like Flora and uh, Atlanta look so much better. Flora's actually really cute. But, uh, I'm gonna have you heal since Maya's doing that. Uh, the original sprite-based our, our Golden Sun summons are just so cool. Alright, unleash Boreas, my dear! Soul Blade and Excalibur, nice. I don't get what Cybiel is, as an aside. We actually- oh, <laughs> Really?! How anticlimactic! We didn't even get to see Boreas. I'm gonna summon it on a random monster, screw them. Uh, Cybiel is a uh, Greek mythological figure I learned about her last semester. I don't know what the fuck this Cybiel is, but you know, whatever. We did it, Isaac! We beat the last water beast! I wonder why Alton's guardian statues turn into monsters. Isn't it strange? Nah, dude, we've seen worse. Oh, I'm sure you get that sort of thing all the time. Still, it's strange that the bottom of the mine was made of carved stone. Bory ass! Get rejected, sad. I don't know why she's an Earth Toad either. The Guardian statues were created long, long ago. What are they for? They're for collapsing like little bitches. There's a treasure behind the Guardian statue. It must be all it must all be related to these ruins. Buried deep in the mine. Maya made the statue via time travel? I don't think so. I guess so. Hey Isaac, we should check that chest before we go. As if you needed to tell me. Another synergy item to shove onto Isaac. Eventually his synergy block will be several lines long. It's glorious. Alright, so. We need to use lift on a... Oh. Yeah, we're still gonna summon Boreas. Screw it. We still need to use Lift on a thing to get out of this cave, but there's also that one at the very beginning, and we want to make sure we get that. Let's just leave that chest. Get out of here. Get out of here with that suggestion. That's heresy. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we're gonna retreat out of here. And we're gonna go back up. And now the music is all cheerful because I've killed everything. And you're all good. Oh, uh, it's this one. Follow the rail track. Guess what, bitches? You getting Boreas on! But just in case Boreas doesn't murder you completely. You know what ain't heresy? Jin kills, lol. You aiming for early Treasure Island? Um, we're going to Treasure Island, not via the boat, but the first time we can get there via tornado, we will go there. 
we'll get the Jin and we'll go down all the way to uh, Deadbeard. But we're not going to fight him yet. We'll come back for that uh, once we have some more uh, XP under our belt. Because he is honestly the only tough fight in this game. At least now. Like, I used to struggle with the final boss and stuff, but since, I mean, Golden Sun just is not difficult anymore to me. Where? Did I, did I miss the turn off for the chest? I might have. Real question, why the fire levitating? I actually don't know the process you need to do to get to Treasure Island, or sorry, Crossbone Island, I don't know why we're calling it Treasure Island. I don't know the process you need to do to get to Crossbone Island via the boat instead of the tornado. I know you have to pick a very specific um, selection of... Where the hell am I going? Weird inconsistency with the other torch depictions. Yeah, that's pretty true. Doesn't even look... I think I totally took the wrong path. I think the other way that I was going was the right path. I just... I want this chest! You just need to unbalance the left and right sides. Yeah, that does sound right, but like... That can be a little subjective. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you find for me the combo, we will, but uh, I don't think we're going to get there today. Or if we do, that might be like the end of the stream kind of thing. Okay, guys, seriously, can you not? I'm just trying to find a treasure chest here. First the swordsman, second the balding man, third the chef, and fourth the elderly man. All right. You're grinding so you can fight Deadbeard ASAP, lol. Okay, where is this damn chest? It's not there. We tried there. Is it... Why am I suddenly lost? I went in the right area, right? There's several entrances to the mine. I might... Might have gone into the wrong one. All I remember was that it was to the right. It's here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. Yes, alright, okay. There's a chest in the mine. Time to find it. There are bombs and hostages, too. Lol. What even is this? Oh, it's a cookie! Yay, it's a cookie! Totally worth it. Alright, who gets it? Almost Isaac, but no, Garrett gets this one. Now we can retreat again. Well, those aren't your problems, so ignore them. Lol. Alright, anyone have different dialogue? Yeah, but, I mean, who cares? Well, alright. Did you see water gushing out when you slew those Hydros creatures? I see. So the water monsters are like giant water tanks. I was afraid more water would gush out when the waters were slain. Yeah, I know. I love the village themes, especially Vale. Once the mines open opens again, we'll be able to get back on our feet. I hope Alton Mine will thrive again soon, like it once did. Thank you so much for defeating the Hydro statues in the mine. I like how they just know what it was and what they were. We can go back to work in the mines again. They already started mining the upper parts of the mountain. But people still seem afraid to go down to the lower depths. I mean, that's fair. There are still monsters in there, guys. The water seeped into the mine shafts. I bet the rock is very soft. Seriously, guys, be very careful. Like, there are still deadly monsters in there. Ech, 
I don't feel like talking to all these people. Sorry. I did it once. I just want to leave, Alton! Get out of this shithole! And I take the longest path to get back down to the bottom. Yep, tarantulas. Not deadly enough. And I mean giant apes and calamari and spiked s slime monsters and... Uh, what else is in here? I think that's roughly it, isn't it? Yeah, I think the apes are the biggest threat in here. Chest? Not chest. The calamari are food. They are indeed. It's kind of making me legit want some calamari. Deep fried and breaded. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. The rat fighters, yeah, yeah. They're literal rats. They are indeed. Chest? Not chest. Chest! Yay! More stuff to sell! And lift! Uh oh. Someone is messaging me on Discord. If that keeps up, I might have to close it. Shouldn't have been an activated streamer mode. I might have disabled that. I might have to re-enable it. I usually close Discord when I stream, but that's usually just to make sure uh, things run properly. Game Boy emulator doesn't need much to run. Don't forget to go back to Vale's Cave. Oh, I will. I'll do that when uh, we actually... Oh shit, we can do that now, can't we? Yeah, 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 I know you're right. Oh, we... Can't do anything about this situation yet, we need reveal. And now we get to see... The best woman... In the entire Golden Sun franchise. The only one I claim. This is Lama Temple. Welcome, travelers. I was going to say we can go back to Vale once the bridge to Calais gets fixed, but the bridge gets fixed as soon as you get there, so, you know. They seem to be anxious. They cannot survive the desert like that. No, not bald monk number three. Hammer. For some reason, these people give me the same feeling I got from the master of the temple, Master Hama. Yes, I feel as though my mind is being read somehow. Shh, you don't know nothing. Do you know what meditation is? It is training in which you clear your mind of all thought and try to become as still and calm as a stone. It allows you to find peace by closing your eyes and sealing your mind from the world around you. Mind reading is trippy stuff. I am hungry. <laughs> yup. You who speak to me. I sense great insecurity and anxiety within you. I sense impure thoughts from the man beside me. His training is weak. Uh, yeah, he's hungry! Give him some food! None of this fasting horse shit. <laughs> Cop. I've always found it a little weird that uh, mind reading and, like, telepathic stuff is uh, from Jupiter because what does that technically have to do with the wind but I love having that in there so I always consider it a part of wind magic even though it really isn't Golden Sun's weird it's very anachronistic and uh, takes established things and tweaks it slightly and then just goes lol take that 
he who has the power to see that which cannot be seen shall see the truth. Cool, cool. We'll uh, come back and deal with that very shortly. Anything to loot? No, but I know there is something inside the temple here. Did you know that Master Hama is the greatest master of Chi? Bullshit! Then today, you shall see that Master Hama is truly the master of Chi. You do? Then you must have already met Master Fei and Zion, haven't you? But Hama's power does not end there. Hama is the best! Master Jupiter Adept! Master Chi user! All sorts of kick ass! You can literally talk to dead people in Golden Sun 3, but only if you're a furry. Spooky shit is actually when you cheat the game with walk through walls and discover things you didn't want to. I'd love to see a Golden Sun creepypasta, that'd be awesome. Hama! Master Hama is meditating. Please be extremely quiet. So, Isaac, you and your adept companions have finally come. Finally come? Was she expecting us? But how did she know we'd be here now? I had anticipated your arrival. You knew we were coming then? I have been waiting a long while for you. You come seeking the elemental stars. You know about the elemental stars too? Who... who are you? I am a Jupiter Adept. Just like you, Ivan. I'm not a Jupiter Adept. What are you... Ivan, come on, bro. I know you weren't raised around Synergy, but you had to have realized by now. Go away. There we go. Hama, I'm hotter than Maya. Maya, unlikely have a nice day. Not at all! She is hotter than Maya. Uh, you are Ivan, although you may not know it yet. May not yet know it. Why do you say that? Do you not have the power to read minds? That ability is unique to the Jupiter Adepts. You predicted our coming. Is that also synergy? Ho ho! Excellent question, Miss Maya. Yes, the ability to foresee events also belongs to the Jupiter Adepts. Then, can Ivan learn the power of prediction too? He already has. I don't think I have. You do. You merely do not yet know that you have it. And yet we never see Ivan using it. For shame. The power of Jupiter must be great if it lets you see the future. Oh, but Ivan can learn to use an even greater power. What greater power? I'm not satisfied with my hammer voice. Reveal. I don't see how supervisions is better than future sight. Eh. Reveal. Yes, I have waited long to pass the power of true sight on to you. You waited here in Lama Temple just to teach Reveal to Ivan? You will need Reveal if you are to achieve your goals. Reveal is such a good synergy. Jupiter Adepts can learn Reveal on their own over time. I was so annoyed that they took it out in Dark Dawn and what Spirit Sense sucks. But that power alone will not help you find Satoros and his, as his company moves on. It was Satoros and his companions who blocked Silk Road. I wonder if they made Felix do it. Felix and the rest of them, huh? Those cowards. <laughs> Sweet home Alabama. Felix bears a terrible fate, a burden I would not wish on any man. A terrible fate? What do you mean? 
I am sorry, but I can say nothing more of this matter. Now, we must focus on the power of reveal. Yeah, that's Golden Sun 2 stuff, Garrett. Don't worry about it. You will need the power of reveal to cross the evil Lamakan Desert. An evil desert? Is that even possible? You believe that, Isaac? Well, I just don't buy it. Why will we need reveal to cross the desert? Crossing Lamakan Desert was hard enough with the extreme heat. But evil has taken hold of the desert, and its heat has become unbearable. Garrett, don't spoil the series, right? Entering the desert now is nothing short of asking for death. Then, how can Satyros cross such a deadly place? Satyros and Minardi are Mars Adepts. I am merely guessing, but their powers might help them suppress the heat as they cross. But, you know, Gary can't do it. I still don't understand. How will Reveal help us in such an evil place? Reveal will help you find oasises to cool you against the heat. Oh no, an evil desert! Whatever am I gonna do? Why would we need Reveal for that? Won't we be able to see the oasises? Do you know what a mirage is? The desert is filled with mirages that prevent you from seeing clearly. Without Reveal, you cannot find the oasises. Sounds like we should have Ivan learn Reveal, don't you think? No. Oh, come on, Isaac! If we're gonna follow Felix, we'll need Reveal! Ivan, you should let Master Hama teach you how to use Reveal. What's wrong, Master Hama? You can pass Reveal on to me, can't you? I am unsure that it will work. In preparation for this day, I tried to pass a power on to a young girl, although that power was not Reveal. My student was not an adept, <clears throat> but I thought anyone could hone a skill he or she already possessed. However, I saw no change in this girl. Garrett tries putting his mouth where he thinks the oasis is. It's a cactus. He finds an antlion instead. Yep. No! There was change! Feze, why are you here? I sensed it! Sensed it? What did you sense? Sue is in great danger! Sue left this place a long time ago. I know, but Sue did not return to Zion! The boulders in the mountains! I sensed it! I came through the mine! I came to ask for help! I sensed nothing, as I was focused on Isaac's arrival. But... Why has the power come to you now, after all this time? Gems fell from the sky. One hit me right on the head. Gems. Synergy stones. Then, this may work after all. What about Sue? Let us hurry to, Su to Sue's aid. Master Hama, what about us? What about Reveal? I had completely forgotten. It seems I succeeded in passing my power to Feze. You will be fine. I like how Isaac just takes an extra step back. Yay! This should do it. Use Reveal to cross the desert. But your reveal may not be that strong yet. The oasises may not appear. The rest is up to Ivan's abilities. Ivan, I am very glad to see you have grown to be such a strong man. Ivan, 
Do you and Master Hama know each other? Hama is a super powerful attempt shell piloted by a goldfish? Rude. No, but she doesn't feel like a stranger. Felix and the others must be far ahead of us by now. Then we'd better get moving. Let's go. We can't just leave like this. Hama might need our help. She only has Feze to assist her. Shouldn't we help too? No! To heck with them! I am worried about Feze and Master Hama, but I understand why you want to chase after Felix. We'll go with you, Isaac. Whatever you decide. I mean, of course we're gonna go save them, but if you give me a dialogue option, I'm gonna refuse. I wonder what Master Hama was talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's go. Yeah, I knew there was something in here. Six coins, though. What a rip. Hama sucks! No, I'm kidding. She, she's my bae. Mary Hama. Alright. Nice. Water of life. Maya wants to help Hama to showcase her hotness. Lol. Uh, give a quick heal to Isaac. And let's go help Hama, Sue, and Feze. Sue, are you okay? Master Hammer, I'm okay, but the boulder, I cannot move! Sue seems unhurt. You must be glad, Feze. Yes, thank you, Master, but how can we free him? I don't know what we can do. Well, Isaac, Adepts, you came to help. Sue is in trouble, as you can see. What should we do? How should we move the boulders? Be strong, Sue! We will help you! Sue tires. He looks exhausted. I am worried. I am trapped between these two boulders! At least I wasn't crushed! I was lucky! No, I, I already read your mind. I want to scream! But Feze does not like it when I do that. I got you, bro. Don't worry about it. Isaac, did you lift the boulder? Oh my! The boulder, it floats! Quickly, Feze, we must pull Sue free. Ready yourself, Sue. I am going to pull. One, two, Three! He is halfway out! Just a little further! Can you hoing hang on just a moment longer, Isaac? As he's literally just standing here, not even paying attention. Ooh, Sue! I don't know! I might just- you know, I'm sorry, Sue. I, I don't think I can hold this rock up any longer. Ugh. Oh, it's gonna fall! You cannot back out now! You must be responsible! Ready? I'm going to pull! One, two, three! Oh! Have a good- Well, who shit, 5am. Have a good morning, Macronix! Sleep well. Nice to meet ya. We did it, Master Hama! Sue is free! We did it, Feze! Thank you, Isaac. We must contact Master Fay and ask him to tend to Sue's injuries. I will ask him to clean up the rocks, too. Excellent. If Silk Road remains blocked, everyone will suffer. Somebody once told me good night, Macaroni! Adepts, let me thank you again. I am truly grateful. I did not expect you to come and aid us. 
No, Master Hama. We are the ones who should be grateful. What's Master Faye's phone number? 555 kick ass. Thank you for pa thank you for passing the power of reveal on to me. But what you said. What is it, Ivan? Well, really, I was the one who suggested we help you, right? No, Garrett. You wanted us to get moving. Hey, Ton, welcome. You must have just gotten home from work. Isaac, Maya, don't make me look like a fool. Do not worry, Garrett. I do not mind. Travel well, my friends. I hope to see you soon. Just got home. Stressful night was stressful. Oof. Sorry to hear, man. Weren't you going to ask Master Hama what she meant earlier? Just the usual work stress or anything happen? We do not know when we'll be able to see Master Hama again. Isaac, don't you think we should ask Master Hama what she meant? See? If it's bothering you, you should just go ahead and ask now. Thank you, everyone. But it is better that we leave now. What do you mean? Hey, and Mouse Wings shows up at the same time! Hey, Iris! Welcome to the stream. You missed us fighting against a whole bunch of rat fighters. Master Hama hasn't looked me in the eyes since she said those words. Well, that just makes me even more curious. Don't worry about it. I doubt she would even tell me if I asked. Well, that's just... Master Hama will tell me when we have completed our mission. I have to believe that. Customer came in last night and took unflattering pictures of our store sent said pictures oh shoot that's not fun I should look back on the rat fighters yeah oh uh, we rejoined party sorry I had a lot of chat to read there I'm gonna talk to her anyway the future holds many hardships but you must not give up the fight I cannot see your future clearly it must be because I cannot be impartial to it, or to you. Alrighty. Let's -a get out of here. Now we get to enter the desert. With the special heat bar that only goes up if you run on sand. Do 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 do. Oh, and these little text dialogue boxes that come up, I'm going to stop reading them as they loop. Because they do loop, and there's only a few that each character will say. And it's just at certain heat thresholds. Ugh! This desert is much hotter than I ever imagined. Oh, hey, here's a rat fighter. The guy on the right. Uh, so Depth's future vision gets clouded when they're impartial. That is good to know. Or where they're not impartial. I think. Because she was saying she couldn't be impartial. When you have bias or have a uh, personal connection, it's harder to see the future. Which makes sense. Alright. And now we got orcs, which just make no bloody sense. Don't need that right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's a gin in this desert. Just walking around here saps every ounce of my energy. Thanks for asking. I'm doing okay. Today was good, but today's not good. Garrett, we're at the desert. Everyone else, no, we're at, we're at the beach. Lol. Oasis. Anything over here? No. Ooh, 
Those guys can be deadly, especially uh, the Thunder versions. Orcs are pig many -er in Japan, apparently. Doesn't seem to be an Oni thing. Oh, that's interesting. Don't forget the Lucky Pepper and Vulcan Axe. Uh, I mean, I know the axe is in a chest. I'm assuming the pepper is as well. I get all the chests. I can't stop sweating. I wish I'd brought a change of clothes. Yeah, honestly, Mai is in the worst con uh, situation here because she hails from a wintry snow place and she's still wearing the clothes that she would have worn there. But now she's in a freaking evilly hot desert. Might be a mint. I feel like it's a mint, not a lucky pepper. Hey, we got the sleep off. Nice. There we go. We don't need to kill those, but I always like to uh, spring the ant lion's trap. Uh, I'm so thirsty. Water! I need some water! There you go, bro. Splash around, have a good time. No, okay, there was another path, and I think that's where the other uh, chest was. I can't keep my cool when it's this hot. Haha, <laughs> he said cool. If we don't find an oasis soon, I'm gonna shrivel up and blow away. Uh, yeah, here's a the chest. There's the Vulcan Axe. We're gonna take some uh, heat damage, but that's perfectly fine. BAM! It's not even that much damage. I mean, doing it a bunch would kill us, but... And I should be playing video with some real- it's free real estate. I really like the bull skeleton here? Yeah. There's so many people in chat right now, I'm having a hard time keeping up with it. That is a great feeling. Everyone, it burns! Isaac bounces in place. Nice weather we're having. Hey, good job, Maya. She's now 18. Insert legal joke here. Shadow, you are now a big streamer. Top tier. I'm the biggest and the baddest! Alright, Maya, I think you can get the sleep off again. That would be most convenient. I mean, Ivan got his double head off. Aw, oh, Maya, come on. You're slipping, girl. That's fine, the antline sucked. I mean, I have six people in stream, which is a fairly high number. I, I think I've actually had two to four people consistently for the entire stream. And we've just now suddenly picked up. We even got a new follower today, so that's cool. I love how the antline has a love emote. Yeah, man, he's about to be fed. Or at least he thinks he is. Oh, I'll go lurk then. I need to play some more TMS anyways. No, you stay! Stay, Todd. Enjoy the Golden Sun fun. Uh, I think the gin is here. No, that is an oasis. Those are good too. The gin is in this room, so to speak, though. Ah, just do tundra. The Tokyo Mirage sessions. You know, I actually played. Uh, I, I took out uh, Fire Emblem Sharp the Tokyo Mirage sessions from the library for the Wii U a couple years ago and I got through a decent chunk of it but I never actually beat it yeah it's the Persona times uh, Fire Emblem game it's alright 
it's not super amazing, but it, it is still fun. I think I got like a quarter of the way through the game and then I ended up uh, not finishing. It does play more like a Persona game. I've actually technically never beaten a Persona game. Oop, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. We're fighting another antline. Um, I've played most of Persona 3 Feds, like literally down to the final month. But, and I played like two thirds of uh, four, but I haven't beaten either. Jin is to the left? Okay. Hey, cop. Cop, are you watching? Are you watching, cop? This is for you. This is for you, cop. I did that specifically for you. There he is. Hey, friendo. Smog. And now we have access to the highest tier Jupiter Summon, which is Thor, which makes no bloody sense. <clears throat> and there's another chest here. Shut up, Garrett. Yeah, here we go. Damn it! You foolish salamanders! Ah yes, Brenda the Smogjin, what? So after you catch up on the Kisakai series on stream, you'll need to play a Persona title to completion. I'd be down for doing, uh, Fez. Or four. Probably both. To be honest, there are so many games I wish I could do on stream for you guys. So much material I want to get through. Uh, like, even if I were to stream, Every day for the rest of the year, I'd still have more content than I'd be able to show you guys. Just on stuff I've either already played and really want to play again, especially on stream. Hey, 777 coins. Uh, or stuff I haven't played that I think would be best to play on stream. Why doesn't it make sense? Jupiter encompasses lightning. I don't know what you mean, brother. I think you might have me confused for another partner, gentlemen. Play Persona 1. A friend of mine who's really into Atlas stuff, like all Atlas SMT stuff, uh, he played through the first couple Personas, and while there does sound like there'd be some decent plot elements I care about, I don't really think I'd enjoy Persona 1, 2, or the other Persona 2. Oh, for Thor to be the highest tier Jupiter summon. I mean, yeah, it makes sense in that kind of regard, but like, I don't know. This game is just very anachronistic. Also, Garrett got Flare Storm, so that's awesome. Oh, hush up, Ivan. See, we're fine. Alright, I think we can leave now. What's in here? Oh. Oh, no, it was a lucky pepper. Good memory, cop. Alright, who has the lowest luck? Garrett. And now it's Isaac. Is there anything in here? There is not. Garrett got a cease and desist. Lol. You silly orc. Get wrecked. Nah. Now, 
Sorry, I really like the desert theme. Did Undertale steal the walk through river puzzles from Golden Sun? Possible. I mean, everyone knows Golden Sun is the superior product anyway. I think this is where we actually have to go. Yeah, we're not dealing with that yet. There's treasure here! Hey, and a mint! Okay. Double good on cop. Alright, agility that's probably gonna be Garrett. Yep. Actually, they've all kind of got really shit agility. Fun fact, though, every adept in all games always gets uh, plus four to agility, I believe. Their stat growths are actually really similar to each other. I, uh, when I was doing my Golden Sun d and I had to, um, base the stat growths off real characters, so I looked at, uh, how much they got per level. And they all start at different values, but otherwise they level up pretty much the same. Alright, let's see if we can pop a Thor off on this one to showcase the new summon. Probably not, though. What a wasted turn, my friend. Oh, he gets to move twice. Manticore is the first enemy in the game that gets multiple movements. That's good to know. Hey, I'm back. Who's this guy? Also. This guy's your mom, cop. Oh! Oh no, Corona! I just realized! I just unleashed Coronavirus! On my own party, nonetheless! Oh, we don't need to do that. Uh, just attack. Sure. Keep using Jin, why not? My mom called to wish me a happy June. Well, that is incorrect. But it's February. It's not even February. Although, I guess for you it is. It's still January for us over here. I'll have to uh, change my calendar tonight. Mom got me, uh, because they, they didn't seem to be doing a Homestuck calendar this year, like I've done literally every other year. So mom got me a Zelda calendar this year, and that's pretty cool. All right, well, you may as well prep anyways. We want to pop off the Thor. It's February there? Yeah, I know. That's because you're hours ahead. It's only uh, 9.16 p.m. for us. So heads up, we're not getting to Tolby today. Definitely, but uh, we will at least get to Calais. And we might go do uh, the Veil thing, but no guarantee. No Golden Sun calendar. No 3D printed Golden Sun clock. No Golden Sun calendar. I really wish we had one. Like, I, I have never found one. But I would, I would, as long as it wasn't like the same promotional art that uh, you always see floating around for Golden Sun, that's boring. I would want original, like, art pieces. I think the volume... No, the volume should be good. Alright, Ivan. Let's see ya, Thor! BAM! I will say I like this version of Thor better than Dark Dawn's version of Thor. Shadow, 
You are an original art. Aw. How the summon icon is a golem? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Alright, now everyone else can unleash their, uh, their summons on this poor schmuck. Ooh, deadly poison! So, fun fact for anyone who doesn't know, Golden Sun has two versions of poison. Deadly poison and regular poison. Deadly poison, uh, doubles, it, it gets exponentially more deadly. And I think within like eight turns, it doesn't matter how much health you have, you just instantly die. And then regular poison is like a set percentage amount. Oh shit, our healing ring broke. That's rude. Get Boreas! Get Boreas! Yeah, baby! Shaved Ice Attack! There you go. Woo! Tornado for Ivan! Shut up, Maya. Nobody cares about your sweat-drenched clothes. Although that is kind of hot, but I'm... Ch and boom, desert's done. I do like Dark Dawn's Boreas better. Agreed. Oh, shit, I better heal you. Uh, Dark Dawn's Boreas is like, uh... Isn't it more like a train? Which is really cool. Drench my is kinda hot. Oh, we've got a world map, Jin. Mm, not here, but I'm pretty sure this is where we get mine. And I mean the Jin and not the uh the app. Just just clarifying. Haha, <laughs> no TM app for you, Garrett. I thought it was here, but no, it's uh it's a bit further along. Boreas is literally the Polar Express, basically. Is it here? Nope. Is this a gin? Come on, Vine, where are you at, bro? I know you're around here somewhere. No, not you, Deathcap. Mouse, what's your opinion of bees? I am curious as well. There he is! Silly Jin. Freedom is for schlubs! Ha! You cast Gaia? I cast Tiamat! Oh, first we're doing mist. No, I cast Tiamat! Get dunked on! Give me that useless gin, oh yeah! Now we have access to the highest tier Venus synergy, or summon, Judgment. Now, Judgment for an Earth uh, summon doesn't make much sense, but it's still freaking awesome. Get out of here, you mad vermin with your little fork. Tiamat needs some mouth freshener. Yeah, she wasn't even breathing fire, that was just her breath. I'm gonna be at 9.30. It's cool as frick, so it's okay. A to the men. Show everyone judgment? I will. In fact, I will show that post haste. We're gonna cast judgment upon uh, the next fools to attack us. And it's gonna be on a B! 
You have been judged poorly. Literally, apocalypse. Apocalyptic energy wave. <coughs> and then, then we get Catastrophe, who's like, Corrupted Judgment's older brother. It's insane. And this is Calais. Yay, Calais! Um, we're not dealing with Kalei yet, though. We are going up to Vale. Now we're in the first area of the game where everything dies in one shot. Oh, and we can go to Vault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, uh, we're gonna finish today by doing Vault and Vale Cave. That's what we'll do. Heal up quick. Alright, we're gonna grab this bone. Which we could technically grab infinite of. But we're only gonna grab two. One to use and one to keep as a souvenir. And we're gonna do a quick stop off at the prison and find out they've escaped. I hit somebody so they put me in here. What I did was stupid, wasn't it? Yes. I need to learn to control my temper. <coughs> we're gonna go talk to the mayor quick. Hey, mayor. Oh, Isaac, you've come back to vault. Ever since you left, all sorts of crazy things have been happening. Those thieves you caught have escaped from jail. We were worried they might have come after you. Have you run into them? Well, that's good. But be careful. There's no telling what they might do. Talk to the mayor here, Shadow. I know. What do you think I am? A noob? If you bring me some bones, I'll tell you a secret. Yeah, okay, we'll do that in a minute. First, I gotta go ring a bell. Ring that bell icon! Ho 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 ho! Scare this fella out. We're running low on uh, Mars Gen. We're actually gonna have to uh, unbalance our adepts a little bit. It's best for both of us if I don't answer that shadow. Lol. A careful search will reveal. A passage leading underground nearby. You might just find some treasure inside. I think this is a mimic. Yep. I don't remember what it has, though. I just remember that it was a mimic. <laughs> yeah, we need to get Garrett some more gin. Shit. There's a Mars gin in Kalein? Uh... I might- I should have gotten that one first, but that's fine. He won't be too unbalanced for long. Mimics are weird. Uh, yes, you can be as weird as you like, cop. Not that my permission would stop or hinder you. Alright, finish it off with melee. It can see clearly once again now that the rain has gone. A vile. Ugh, worthless. Worthless!
kill the Ravager! Are you are you having issues, cop? Oh god, the dripping puzzles! I hate the dripping puzzles. I hate them. I hate them, I say. Vambrace, that lower- yeah, it's a double. I kind of hate it when things give you a double defense. <coughs> what did that replace? That replaced his shield. You want the dragon shield then, Garrett? It's all yours, my friend. Dripping puzzles work easier if you use gin kills? Trust! You speak lies and slander, my friend. No, Isaac, don't hop over it. What do you think this is, a playground? And I know that these are the only pillars we really need, but... I mean... I'd feel bad for this one if it wasn't included. Equal opportunities for all puddles! We shall make them reach their full potential together. Isaac's just a good guy like that. Right, we come back that way. Uh, I'm not fully sure I remember the way to go. Oh, hey, Isaac uh, got access to Gaia. Nice. Well, it's because he got Forge in, that's why. That makes sense. Ha ha, get guided on. God, there's so many paths. Alright, well, we needed to hit that to open the lower levels, so that's cool. Now we can go here? Oh, wait, what's over here? Oh god, yep, it's this freaking puzzle. Alright. So it lands here, here, there, and here. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. Made it. <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna want to shove it over and then immediately use move on it. Shit. Nice. I, I just hate all the water dripping puzzles. They're such a pain in the ass. I guess I could, uh... Move it over to this side. Move this down and out of the way. Push this over here.
Hmm. Oh, and I do want you hot keyed. And next trip we go. Yeah, and then we go down. Yeah, it's uh, quicker to do a second shove than it is to try and cast move on it. Oh, that was close. Alright, good. There. We got it! That really didn't do much for us, but it let us get back here. Oh yeah, and this is flooded now. Shit. Did we go over there? Yeah, we did. We just didn't go this way. I can't help but feel like I'm missing stuff, but I also don't think I am. <clears throat> Die, you ghost mages! They're magically ghostly! Thank you! And thank you. Thanks so much for playing in my game. <clears throat> Pretty sure I know what Iris's answer to that will be. Hello, other Venus friend. <clears throat> Who are you? You're not ground. I know where we get grounded. You're not Bane. You're Sap. Yeah, okay. We'll keep you on standby then, so as to not mess with Garrett's synergy. <laughs> yeah, that's about what I figured. Mouse is a fellow horror fanatic like I am. Alright, so we're done with Vault. <coughs> we will still have to come back to this area for Lunpa, but that's uh, after Tolby, so probably next stream. This is not the path I thought it was. Now we are going back to Vale, hometown hero. And we'll be getting ourselves a Jupiter Gin, if I recall correctly. I want to be a fanatic, but I'm an absolutely regular guy. Time to hit Vale! Good sentence combinations. Yeah, and we've already come back home and everyone uh, had similar lines of dialogue. So we won't bother too much with them. But we do have some whirlwinds to make. They do actually have different dialogue. That's fine. I want to talk to you, because I've been talking about you a lot lately. Ow, it's going to be years before I'm a grown-up, but Isaac's back already. Oh, you were just visiting. You got me surprised. This is the guy whose dad died. I promised I'd become a great blacksmith before Isaac comes back again. It's a man's promise, and I have to keep it. His dad died on uh, the day the boulder fell. Welcome home, Isaac. Oh, what happened? Why are you walking around with some girl who's not Jenna? That shy girl with Isaac sure looks like a nice girl. Yeah, and I support their ship much more than Vale shipping. Get out of here with that. Miss me with that Vale shipping shenanigans. Nah, nah, nah. Mud, flame, and lighthouse. Only ships that are legit. <clears throat> Cookie? Oh, power bread. I will take power bread. Oh, and we will give the souvenir 
bone to Ivan. Ivan will be our souvenir holder. Uh, and Ivan gets the power bread. Shadow, I must end you for this. Look, you're just jealous that Vale is canon. Miss me with that shit! Garrett and Jenna always made much more sense. And I will die on that cross. Wait, where's Isaac's house? Oh, it's up a screen. I'm dumb. You will die for certain. Isaac Garrett, though? <laughs> it's kind of canon. Hey, Mom. <coughs> oh, shit. I forgot. I for almost forgot. <coughs> <coughs> Who is it? Is it the innkeeper? Is it time to eat? No? <coughs> then who? <coughs> Isaac! Are you finally home? Have you completed your mission? You haven't, haven't you? <laughs> Have you forgotten your promise, Isaac? You promised you wouldn't come back until your quest was complete. Right, brother? She's Macho Man Randy Savage, actually. You were more worried about me than about keeping your promise. Who told you I was ill? The mayor or... <coughs> was it the innkeeper? Are you telling me you were surprised to see me in bed? You can't just get out of your promises just because you're worried about me, brother. <coughs> Snap into a Venus gin! I... <coughs> I just caught a cold, that's all. Macho Man Dora is always ready for action. But I'm fine now. <coughs> Look! See, I'm fine, brother. She's very fixated on the innkeeper. She is kind, isn't she? Can you cast ply on her or does she just kick you out? I'll try it. Don't worry about me. Go on. Do your best to complete your quest, okay, brother? Alright. I don't think it'll let us. Yeah, no, it just wants to cast it on someone in the party. Well, what if... There we go. Yeah, that didn't work. Good idea, though. We will go uh, talk to the innkeeper in a minute. I don't think there's any loot in our house here, unfortunately. Yeah. Besides, we've already searched Vale from top to bottom. Oh, oh, mind read, mind read. Kyle, watch out. The boulder, the boulder. In her dreams, she is not Macho Man, and merely a delicate woman. Taking care of her. Mm -hmm. Dora the Hulk Splora. Uh, and then the mayor. Oh, we're gonna go talk to Garrett's family. Hey, hey, how have you been? Oh, Garrett! And Isaac! What happened? You're back already? Already? What kind of way is that to greet us? But but they said you might never come back. And it still seems like you're not back for good. Like you're just visiting. Really? Is that what it seems like? Yeah. You and your friends. You all look like you're about to leave. You're smarter than you look. I have to shape up while you're gone, right? 
If not... Hey, the family will be fine as long as you're here. Am I right or what? Take care of our family while I'm gone, alright? Whatever you do, you must protect the family while I'm gone, alright? I'm counting on you. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? I could go with you if I was a little older. It's not fair. I'd have loved to see Kay in Dark Dawn. Hey. What? Shouldn't we look for Garrett? Why? Isaac still doesn't know about Dora, right? Someone should tell him. You miss Garrett, don't you? You're looking for an excuse to find him. What? No, I just... Hey, if all of the rest of you went on journeys like the rest of us have and actually, like, fought random monsters and leveled up, maybe we could have an army of adepts actually worth shit. But no, you're just gonna sit in your village, read your books, and pace on your floor and leave it all up to us. Lame. Get, get, ugh, ugh. Grandma, what's the matter? Are you choking? It's, it's Garrett! She must miss Garrett too. No! It's really Garrett! Look! Look! I mean... Yeah, there's kind of not much of way in your line of sight there. Could easily see them. Mom? Dad? I'm home. Look, leave the army of the Adepts to the Proxians or the Beastmen? Psh! 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 Spoken like a true non-tactician. Come on. Everyone's a soldier if you put them to work. What? Garrett? I mean, there's a cupboard between them. That's not a cupboard, that's one little coffee table or thing of shelves. Oh, Garrett! Grandpa, I'm home. Yes, yes. Did you complete your mission for the wise one? Not yet. Well, I'm glad you're home, even if it's just for a little while. It's nice to see someone grateful for us to be here, unlike Dora, who's like, get the fuck out. Get the fuck out of my room! I'm playing Minecraft! You're leaving again soon, aren't you? I'm just glad to see you're doing well. That's right. Let me introduce you to my new friends. <clears throat> um... I am Ivan. Pleased to meet you. I am Maya from a mill. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please look after young Garrett for us. Well, enough chit chat. Relax and enjoy your stay here. Now we can go talk to them all. That Ivan sure seems to be a smart boy. I wish you could be more like Ivan, Garrett. Wow, rude. His new friends are all so polite. I'm very happy to see that. Maya is such a nice girl. I wonder who Garrett likes more. Maya or Jenna? Jenna, clearly! Flame shipping over steam shipping. I am Maya, the literal hotness. Bow down. Oop. Uh, it must be nice to be young and gallivant about with lovely girls. Amen, old man, amen. Did you hear us talking about Dora just now? Dora told us not to worry, that it's just a fever. Don't worry too much, Isaac. It wasn't too smart to talk about Dora without checking for Isaac. I wish we could tell him the truth. Granny thirsts for Ivan, Grandpa thirsts for Maya. Dora is a fine show. I hope you didn't get sick during your travels. Garrett always eats too much. He always makes his mother worry. Garrett seems to have grown up a bit on this difficult journey. Alright, and then one final family member. Ah! It's been a while. You're back? Have you gone home to see Dad yet? Really? He must have been happy to see you. He has been so worried about you. 
So have I. Sis. Don't, d d don't get me wrong, Baka. I was just worried you might get into trouble. Because, you know, you're not that bright. Freaking Sundere, sister. Yeah, alright. Thanks, sis. So, are you home for good? Or... Not just yet. You're leaving? Again? Don't push yourself too hard when you leave again. I can tell just by looking at you that you've been through a lot. You look so much more mature now. You guys are working so hard, but I'm worried. Are you really alright? Yeah, 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 we're fine. Alright. And now for why we even came back in the first place. Don't worry, kid. I'll be sure to let you know. <clears throat> All right, Vale Cave. Uh, I think there was a treasure chest to the right I missed, but we'll uh, we'll grab that. God damn, she's so Sundere, it's power in a way. That was a strange statement, cop, but I'm not sure how to respond to it. Nut! Isaac gave a nut to Garrett! Heh! <laughs> Isaac times Garrett is canon! I don't think we can go this way right now. Yeah, we gotta move this. Also, talk to that lady next to Kraden Set. Alright. I don't remember if she has anything special that she says. Nettie rejoices? Oh dear. Oh, at uh, Isaac and Garrett, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> She talks about Kraden's hotness. Ah, I see. My mimic senses are tingling. I think there's a mimic in this place. But I could be wrong. <clears throat> I'll know when I see the chest for sure. We need the uh, halt gem before we can grab this gin. We're not quite ready for that. And I might have already missed it. You killed the ghost. I guess that makes you a mage slayer. Man, I wonder how he's doing. Oh, here's a halt gem. We got a runner! Weird memory throwback. That one time I joked about a Golden Sun gotcha game and Dora used the catch synergy to rip out people's hearts. That'd be pretty interesting. You can't escape from me! I think this one is Luff. Nope, this is Kite. Cool. Kite is one of the more useful gen. That's metal AF, dude. That is pretty metal. Isaac learned revive. He can now resurrect people from the dead. Yeah, okay, we've been everywhere here. And that's it. I thought there was a chest in here, though. 
Am I stupid? Am I missing a chest? I mean, that's that's literally it. I'll double check. I think there might have been one area we didn't go in. Hey, someone else leveled up. I think it was Garrett. Uh, have we tried going in there? I think we have. Yes, we got that one. That's fine. Oh, uh, that's still over there. That's useful. I want to see Nettie level up. I think that'd be pretty cool, too. Yeah, no shit, I guess we got everything. <clears throat> yeah, because this just lets out with the logs. Yeah, okay. Let's just retreat and get out of here then. Alright, and then I'm going to get us to right outside of Calais, and that is where we will end the stream. I wish we could tell this kid what lies beyond this fence instead of just making him forever wonder. Yeah, sorry kid. Alright, we got to talk to this chick. You must have so many memories of this cottage, don't you? I thought so. You used to visit Creighton a lot, Isaac. I don't- I understand. You don't have time to dwell on old memories. I wonder why I feel so lonely whenever I come here. I wasn't even that close to Creighton. There you go, coppers. I got your back, homie. Alright, uh... We won't bother staying at the end. We're just gonna leave. She yearns for Creighton. It's beautiful. She's actually carrying Creighton's unborn child. That's why she's lonely and misses him. She says she wasn't that close to Creighton. But it's true, really, because Creighton has, like, floozies in every city. He never has a shortage of, uh, fine women who want to be up in his jock. Why would you stay at the inn when you could use a synergy crystal in the center of town? That is a very good question, something I completely forgot about. Too late now, though. So she's Creighton's friends with benefit, I see. She caught feelings, though. Sounds like it. <clears throat> she actually goes on to marry Creighton and becomes his uh, 12th wife. It's very beautiful. Very beautiful ceremony. Alright, friendos. That is where we will end today's stream. We got basically as far as I wanted to get. Next time, we will likely make it all the way through Colosso, and maybe even descend into, uh... Not Lalavero, Sahula. But, we'll see. <laughs> you guys have a good rest of your Friday night. Uh, don't forget Common Rider tomorrow morning, and then our second stream is tomorrow. I'm gonna make it at 5, uh, p.m. Mountain Time. But I'll, uh, post that in the Discord as well. Anyways, I will see you all later. Hey, look forward to it, Ton.